Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So, as I said for a little while, I wanted to do a Wood Elf live stream to check out the update. That they got a bunch of um, new landmarks or something at major capital city outposts. So I definitely want to go check that out and see how good they are. So just the pretty much default settings, you know, legendary difficulty, very hard battles, very hard cheats. Um, all the endgame crises are enabled, but they won't trigger until that stage, which we probably won't get to. I don't enjoy endgame crises, which is why I usually just- I usually turn them off. But if we ever get to turn 100, then whatever. Alright, so let's jump in and see how we go. It's actually been a while since I played this, so I can't remember exactly what my early game strat was. I remember I go for the capital city straight away, so just bear with me with that as I try to remember. Make it a bit more challenging slash fun. What about you can't do anything the first few turns? Well, that's fine if you want to do that, but I don't enjoy that, so that won't make it more fun. But if you want to go do that kind of campaign, you go right ahead. Outposts, you mean allied outposts or halflands? Uh, like, this, uh, wood elf settlements. Uh, yeah, I should probably use a different word then, I guess. Yeah, outposts. Um, their settlements are called outposts, the ones that aren't tree settlements. So it's not Halfland specifically. So apparently in, um, like if you capture Altdor, for example, there's now a landmark for you. If you capture Karaza Karak or Drakenhof, Black Crag, all of these settlements will have landmarks. So we're going to go and check them out. You've turned down AO cheats. You made the AI cheat smaller. Did I? Well, I could just adjust it from here. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. I didn't realize I had done that. Oh yeah, I must have, I must have like scrolled down or something. But yeah, there we go. That's very hard cheats there, right there. I'll just make sure we apply the changes. Double check, yep, yeah. okay, all good. So if I remember correctly, what you wanna do is sack Temple of Adioth and then like force march down here to get to Hag Hall really quickly because you can use the Forge of Daith. Right up here. To, oh no, you don't need Siege Attacker anymore because the the Sister Twilight have it by default. I have seen your yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like I said, just give me a bit of warm up time. So if we were to have a look at a, oh, we haven't met any of the the settlements that might have a landmark for us, a new one. Or what? But no, no. So we'll have to just go around and look. Yeah, eventually, I can't get there right now, obviously. My powers are yours. Before I do anything, I should do some diplomacy with the others. Shield of Athel. In my halls, the words of the faithless. Protector of the realm. Lord of Athel Lauren, we will see our homeland persist through all the coming ages of the world. Okay, I think I can get it on aggression. Uh, hmm. These guys tend not to declare war on you. Durthu might, though. If I offer to join war against Karak Norn, I don't think I'm going to regret that. Because obviously we just prefer to confederate him. I could declare war on Paravon. I don't imagine they're going to survive long. We'll see how that goes. Alright, and let's make this attack over here. You want to do the diplomacy before you fight any battles, because any damage you do will lower your um, your negotiating power. Uh, if you take a little damage, that is. Alright, we definitely want to try to avoid taking any damage if we can. The nearest two will be Hexavital and Nagarond, wouldn't they? Uh, From a direct point of view, yes, those would be the closest, but we can jump in the underway, uh, in the world routes to get to some. I was actually thinking Altdorf is usually the one I encounter first, because usually the Empire, 
at least from my experience with Wood Elves, it has been a while, usually the Empire likes to burn down trees. So why not Orion? I think he is closer to important cities. You're right. Orion has a broken campaign, though. In a good way. But we've played Orion fairly recently. Orion... Yeah, Orion's campaign is busted. In a good way. I just felt like playing Sisters of Twilight, that's all. Uh, actually, hide everyone that we can hide, and let's just use our flying units here. Hunting my foes, sent by Orion for all Lauren. Seizing the position with me, sister. Hunters, we have. Hand of the forest! Your orders! Mm, go with that one. We accept! For Athel Lauren! Hopefully, we can get back up before we do it again. Orders acknowledged! Alright, they're going over to that eagle. Let's move them around. So yeah, they don't start off with any missile units apart from their general. Oh, another stream, very nice. Is this also a hot seat? Um, it's not specifically a hot seat, but if somebody wants to take over after I'm done, I'm more than happy to send them the save file. So we'll see, it might turn into a hot seat. But I've been very busy over the past few days, so I haven't had time to organize a, another hot seat. Also, hot seats actually damage my channel, <laughs> so it's weird. So. Uh, actually, let's let's put on a single entity shot. Mm, no, this the multi shot is definitely better. We'll just go for them. Why else damage the channel? I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just, uh, my, looking at my analytics, um, it didn't do well for me specifically. But if everyone else, they, they did great. Everyone's been saying how much this really helped, but for me, oof, really took a hit. Big time. So, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not, not going to say I'm not going to do them, but I'm, I'm just saying that it wasn't good for the channel. For my channel, at least. I'm not sure why. Alright, now maybe focus on the single entity. Actually, let's bring these two out. They'll be good at uh, getting some kills without getting any damage. Like I said, I want to try to do this one without taking any damage whatsoever. Because I'm going to be pretty aggressive in my start here, and we need to make sure that we're strong enough to be able to take these guys out in a major settlement. So yeah, if you're wondering what the outpost update is, it's to do with major capitals. When the Wood Elves capture them, there's now new buildings that are available to be built. And so I want to go check that out, because I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I could have probably just Googled it and found a Reddit post. But I usually like to find these things out myself. Uh, that... These guys here might catch me if I'm not careful. Oh, we got hit by a shot. It's alright. Orion. 
with me, sister. If I don't wrap that in the next few seconds. Uh, yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, they're gone. It's really just the general left now, and for some reason that one's worth more bounce power than pretty much the rest of their army. Damn it, I'm hitting you again. There we go. There we go. And we'll also make sure we want to kill it. So we get the maximum loot money. Well, no casualties at least. So that's good. Check us in of camp. Yeah, I checked it at the beginning when we got in. I've adjusted it. Yeah, I found that if you uh, land the eagle first, it actually is pretty good at running them down. But if they're flying by default, then they're... Really bad at it. Uh, that gives us extra winds of magic power reserve, but I think I'd prefer the... Uh, we're not going to have Flock of Doom by the next fight, are we? Yeah, I think I'd prefer Nastra's Grace for physical Aerial resistance. Okay, so we've got to add that one with minimal damage. We're going to need ever-reaching tendrils. And, okay... If we go to the Forge of Daith, the best How item that we could that? get... Let's see, I just gotta remember which one they are. Is it Twilight Horn? No, that's not it. No, it's Dreaming Stuff, I think that's the best. Yeah, Dreaming Cloak is really good. Really good. Dreaming Ring, really good. Dreaming Bow, not essential. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ginkgo did a two dollar thirty super chat. Have you streamed Boris? If not, any plans in the future? I haven't streamed Boris, and I might at some point. We'll see. Definitely not my favorite campaign, but we'll see. Um, summon the Glade Guard or Healy Ring. I kind of feel like the Healy Ring is better. I mean, I can get that next. Yeah, get the Healy Ring. Home to perfection. Sister, give it me. Yummy ring. Twin okay, let's take this. So what we want to do here is just sack the city. Right? Do we want to sack it? What do we, what do we want to do here? We fight Hang on, just give me a second here. I gotta try to remember what to do. I remember it, it from Warhammer 2. I would try to take this settlement first because their army. I've only got a little bit of movement left, and I'm pretty sure force marching I can get to about here, and I think I can reach Hag Hall next turn. There's ten units in there. Because I'm not going to be able to recruit anything from here, if I occupy it. Um, Rafael Banker did a PLN 10 super chat. Hi, hope your day is better than mine. Cheers. Oh, sorry to hear you having a bad day, but, uh, yeah, my day is fine. Thanks, super chat. It will be a glorious battle. I believe the units summoned from the Dreaming Cloak can cap siege points. That is actually true, yes. 
Um, but it, if you've only got flying units and yeah, it wouldn't have enough time unless it was stalking. So when it's upgraded, yes, absolutely. You can do that. I'm just trying to decide which way to go about this. Whether I, whether I should just occupy it. I think I'll just occupy it and make my way down here. The, the normal way. Cause I just, I can't remember if I do this in Warhammer 2 or Warhammer 3. So I'm just going to occupy this. You can sell cities now. Yes, I'm aware of that. We can take a little bit of damage in this battle, that's fine. A little bit. But ideally we don't want to take any. Nice. Good amount of damage there with those, that's what we want to see. Harass him. I miss having two shots of this. I mean, I understand why they nerfed it, but I do miss having two shots by default. Remember when you could have like 17 of them by duplicating the Sisters of Twilight? Ah, oh, those were fun days. Of course, I never did that once. What do you think of porting the DLC campaign battles from Warhammer 2 to Warhammer 3? Uh, I am for it, for sure. I just don't think that's going to happen. I'm definitely in favor of it. Verdant Squire did a two pound super chat. Great to see you playing the helicopter gunship. Me, yep, okay, thanks, super chat. It is kind of like that, I guess. I mean, there are actually helicopters in the game. I like her Skaven laugh. Naestra and Arahan, which is which, and which is which? <laughs> okay, well, Naestra... Think of it this way, Naestra is the nice one, and Arahan is the angry one. So think of it that way. N for Naestra, equals nice. A for Arahan, equals angry. Naestra is the brunette, Arahan is the blonde, or the platinum blonde, the ones with white hair. So, that's Arahan, that's Naestra. She's nice, she's angry. I've definitely gotten that in reverse before, but that's the great thing about making mistakes is that usually somebody corrects you and then you get the correct information. Alright, there we go. Now obviously when playing as a Sister of Twilight you want to get a whole heap of um, Hawk Riders as quickly as possible. So I believe we can get them at tier 2.
Which we're not there yet. Yeah, we're gonna occupy. This is not- I don't think it's my usual MO to do that, but I just can't remember what my usual MO was. I feel like it used to be Force March down to here. To capture that really early. But I think that they just parked their army in there and it's a hell of a slog with such a small army. Which I'm not up for. Uh, which way do we want to go with Arahan? I'm- sorry, with, with these two. I'm pretty sure putting it into a personal combat, like extra ammunition, is really going to provide a lot of value, as opposed to the red line right now. Blue line is good as well, for sure, but if we're staying out of the actual forest area, I don't think it's going to help that much. Not having a flock of doom yet is a little bit of an issue. Okay, so monies. How are we going to spend it? Do we want this? No. Wait. I do want to get this, but we can just rebuild this later. With the one growth that you have... I think it's better to build a money building. This one here will provide a little bit of growth and control, which is good on legendary difficulty because that minus eight difficulty penalty is quite bad. And this will help offset that a little bit. This provides more money though. But it's not going to take long before we're going to have another growth point. I guess you could leave it there, it's just that we're not going to make use of it. All right, we definitely want to build this and I don't think we'll have enough money. Okay, we do actually to build the Oak of Ages, but we also need to build this, because that'll provide growth in adjacent provinces and allow us to recruit some Glade Guards in this region. Yeah, real cheap as well. And then, yeah, we'll have enough money for that. Okay, that works. Oh, which technology should I use? Okay, and then, I don't Act think... Oh, now they want... Our homeland persist through all the coming okay. Ages. I shall comply. Sorceress. Okay. Uh, here. Lord of the... Your desire. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, what we want to do is just try to secure the... The Witchwood. Get the, um... Get the forest healed as quickly as possible. You can usually do that pretty quick. By about turn 20, depending on how quick we are. And get, um... Ariel, because she's good. I hope it, hope it doesn't bug out for us. And by that point, we'll be able to jump somewhere else. But I don't expect to hold any of these outposts, and I'm not even going to bother trying to. Did you look to see if cloning many sisters still work? Oh, we can have a look. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I suggest leaving the military building a hassle to rebuild it now since you don't have the growth building for anything else. No, it's not a priority and I need the money for other things. I'm not, I'm not going to be recruiting in this region, so what's the point of it being there? It's not expensive to rebuild. Rackham95 did a $50 super chat. Legend, you beautiful SOB. Um, I've been waiting for this stream since Wormer 3 first came out. No disrespect, much love. Alright, thanks dude, I appreciate that. But I feel like I've played Sisters of Twilight before with Wayne 3. But thanks to the chat. That one gold, was that a pity? One gold is one gold. I've actually been in a situation before where I've been short by one gold, so... The Sisters of Twilight. So they're coming in through fail. here. No. But they don't stand a chance against the Witchwood. Not at all. At the Temple of Adioth, that provide they don't stand a chance there either. So what they've done there is what really is stupid, really, really dumb. When do we fight? And that's fine Only by me. When necessary. Ariel sees all. An ambush. Okay, we'll definitely be able to reach there next turn. Yes, agreed. So yeah, look, it's going to take five turns until this is built, by which point I'll definitely have this built. And the, just having this for a couple of turns will easily pay for 
uh, for the rebuilding of this. And I would have made 600 bucks from that uh, demolishing it. So yeah, I completely disagree with your assessment about leaving that. It, it makes no sense. I'm not going to be sitting in this province. We're going to be out here, smashing stuff, and then we're leaving as soon as possible. Um, yep, 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 yep. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do this turn except for maybe some diplomacy, if possible, which no. Oh, hang on, we can get peace treaty with Dracula Cover. Nope, not going to do that. Nope. Okay, and let's uh, move on. Yeah, 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 okay. Have they fixed the bug that causes the game to crash when enemy units disintegrate during sieges? I am not aware of that bug. So I can't really comment on it. Do you use the movement bug? I don't use it during live streams. I sometimes use it in my own time. For sure. <laughs> but during live streams, I make a point not to use it. Because if I use the movement bug, every single campaign in this game becomes trivial. There are a, f a couple of factions that can't do it. But most of the time, they're not difficult campaigns in the first place. Remember about chittering in the deeps event? Yes. That's right. You're right. Yes. Oh well. <laughs> so, well, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, you're right. So that usually happens around here, right? So that's what, turn five? I should be there when that happens. Our time must not be wasted. The Siege Disintegration bug is a top thread on the Reddit just now. Really? Well, I haven't encountered it. So, I, I, I just can't comment it on it. Uh, should I auto this? No. No, we'll, we'll take excessive damage on these units if we do that. <sighs> yeah, it's not worth it. We gotta stay nice and strong. Hey Legion, I respect the hell out of you, man. I have a question. Do you ever get burned out? I get burned out a lot. Got any tips? Oh yeah, I get burned out all the time. Um, honestly, if you've got any tips, I could use them. Because <laughs> I, th I think m me getting burned out is one of the single biggest problems that I have with this channel. I don't know how to cure it. I, I think, I think, this is what I try to do with burnout. I try to play the game in a way that I find enjoyable. Um... Because if you play the game in an unenjoyable way, you're only going to get even more burnt out. And even though it may not be the best content that you've ever produced, at least you're still making content. Because if you get too burnt out, a lot of people will just outright quit. And we've seen that happen before. So I manage it by doing that. That's why people, people come on and say, Legend, why don't you do some challenge campaigns? Because I'll get burnt out. Yeah, you know, it's the situation. We've gone over this loads of times. But just I try to play it and enjoy it, which I do. I enjoy these campaigns, and it it, it uh, protects against burnout. That being said, I miss burnout. <laughs> the viewer, not not the actual burnout. Uh, Ravini, sorry, Ravine. Revin21 did a 10 euro super chat. Oh look, Atena, how about that? Thanks for the streams. Got to catch this one live for a change. Keep up the great content. Oh no, dude, thank you for the tenor. Appreciate it. Hey legend, enjoying a good total war stream in the middle of a war. There's always a war going on. I'm not at war. My country's not at Well, we might be. I don't freaking know. Come on. Don't. What a stupid comment. <laughs> what a stupid comment. Same issue when burned out from consistent sitting in front of a PC. 
what my medic recommend is take consistent breaks from staring intensely at the PC and walk for 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, I like to get up and just pace around the house a little bit. So yeah, I think getting up and walking definitely helps. And because I spend so much time sitting, whenever whenever I'm anywhere else, I usually try to stand. Because yeah, sitting all the time is not good for you. So I try to stand as much as possible. But I don't, I don't think sitting down has anything to do with burnout. That has more to do with health. It's not, not, it's not, it's not what he was talking about. Burnout is when you're like exhausted mentally from a game and you just sort of don't want to play it anymore or burnt out from work in general. Uh, it's, it's a difficult thing to overcome because if your job is playing games for a living, how can that be bad? How can you get burnt out? But sh turns out doing anything excessively will burn anyone out eventually and that's what it really comes down to doing this for a living means doing it excessively i don't want to get shot why don't you get in there Is it a show that war with Zinch? No, we lost that war. That was a long time ago. Please, you don't win wars against Zinch. Will you do unit roster tier list for war Hammer 3? I have been doing them. They haven't been performing amazingly well. So I'm reluctant to do any more until there's like major changes to a roster. But I'm, I, I'm probably going to do more at some points. I don't have any planned right now. Will you do a Scarbrand campaign and show us how you get the hell pit in turn 10? Probably not. What happened to Burnout? Got Burnout? Um, I'm pretty sure he just sort of lost interest in what we were doing and moved on with his life. Which is pretty common. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, people come and go. That's just how it is. Yeah, you know, it's just, I, I really appreciate that people have been here for like 10 years straight, but the vast majority of people don't stick around that long. And I, I understand that. That's fine. I mean, there's been sh uh, channels and stuff that I've thoroughly enjoyed that eventually you just sort of get sick of and you just move on. Like, for example, I used to be such, like a super fan of PewDiePie's and I just don't really watch his videos anymore. I don't... didn't dislike him or anything. I just sort of... I was like, I've watched a lot of these, and I sort of just found other interests. Um, it happens. I'm still subscribed to him, but I just haven't really watched many of his videos lately. It happens. Uh, Reindeer did a $15 super chat. I've been obsessed with BG3 since release. Haven't touched Warhammer 3 for ages. Watching your stream was a nice change of pace. Thank you for the content. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Yep, I've heard nothing but good things about um, BG3. Glad you're enjoying it. Okay, so next turn we're heading towards Hag Hall. They've got a... not a huge army in there. But what would really help in the coming fight is... a tree. Hmm, I'll go with... I'll go with... Oh. Spell resistance enemy. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with this. Okay, now, I would like for the sisters to be able to catch here next turn. It looks like Not she is going to make it, but it's really hard to say. So what we want to do is sort of guarantee it as much as possible. If we use the Dreaming Boots, it'll give us campaign movement range. However, getting the Dreaming Cloak would make the battle easier, but I have to make sure I can actually reach it next turn. That's so important. It is made perfect. So that extra campaign movement range should ensure that I'll make it. 
because yeah, I'm just not sure otherwise if I will. So at Vol's Anvil, let's have a look here. Control adjacent province could be good. Wilshire shouldn't be taxing this. Oh, no, no, no. Taxing it means uh, we'll get an extra recruit slot. Look, if you don't tax it, you lose a recruit slot. It's a hidden mechanic that the game doesn't tell you about. It's been in the game since day one, but doesn't tell you that. Okay, so let's have a look here. This one here, Growth All Provinces. That is good. It also provides a decent garrison. Casualty replenishment for the in the region. This one over here, Growth Adjacent Provinces. Reduce construction costs in the adjacent province as well. That's that's good for sure. Uh, this settlement here does have a tendency of getting attacked. So I'm going to go with this one here. Because that one I can leave long term because it provides a global bonus. I'm going to go with that. Soaring Eagle did a five pound super chat. Just want to say I love watching your videos and enjoy your content. Keep up the good work. Thanks, dude. I'm glad you enjoy it. Appreciate you. All right, growth there. Yep, it's coming soon. Cool, cool, cool. Public order is sustainable. Uh, let's just check diplomacy real quick. Gotta check it every turn. See what's available. Supreme. All right, let's move on. Can you load save Draco treatment as the other Woodell factions? Uh, no. No, you can... If you confederate her, you can get them that way. But you can't load those units without mods. Better just erase the Hothlands? Uh, I don't agree. I don't agree. Did I? Yeah, I read out that super chat, didn't I? The five pound one? My god, I, I swear I have Alzheimer's. Um, but yeah, thanks to Super Chat, Soaring Eagle, if I didn't already say so. I'm pretty sure I did. How about offices? Um, I'm pretty sure you can't put trees in office. Oh, no, you can. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I forgot about that. Looks like we would have made it even without the Dreaming Boots, but like I said, it is, I had to make sure. Because I didn't do a test run. Oh, hang on a second here. Yeah! Oh, if we can have a field I battle, that would be better. Yeah! Must we? Yes, yeah, a we field must. battle would definitely be better for us than a siege. Yeah, that'll be fine. No, it's not Alzheimer's, it's ADHD, that's what it is. I was recently diagnosed with it. Um, it explains everything. Uh, short attention span, basically. <laughs> What does the ancient treatment say? Ah, oh, Fraxina. That probably means, ouch my ass. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, we're outpowered here. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine because our army is pretty good at overcoming, you know, slight odds. And all their units are quite basic. But I think hiding our units up here just to begin with and harassing them as much as possible will really help. Legends ADHD? No way. <laughs> yeah, nobody nobody should be surprised by that. I said I might have autism as well. Might be on the spectrum. We'll see. I gotta get tested for that. Did you make your own ship in Starfield? If yes, will you show us that? I did make my own ship. My bow and I... Well, I might show you one day. It's not pretty, by the way. It's a, it's a juggernaut. With like 10,000 car, uh, cargo capacity. Because I like to just put raw... Oh shit, no, you should come over here. 
raw resources in it so that I don't have to keep going back to my outpost to pick up more resources. Thoughts on the Nagash mod? Yeah, I like it. It's not caring about anything ADHD or just depression. It's definitely not ADHD. So ADHD is it's different for everyone. Not it's it's a it's a it's a spectrum. Um, but basically, it's for me what ADHD is is that I have a hard time paying attention to certain things that I don't care about. <laughs> but like I pay hyper attention to things that I do care about. So I can retain. I can have like a photographic memory for some things, but some there's other things. I have, well, I'll forget instantly if somebody tells me something. Like, they're like, you need to be here at 12 o'clock. And I'm like, were you talking to me? <laughs> I just have trouble concentrating with, with boring shit. So anything that bores me, I really don't retain that information. Did you take Concerto or Ritalin as a child? No, no, I, I was diagnosed with it like a month ago. Sisters of Twilight! The season of war! Ariel shows the way! Guided by the weave! Well, anyway, there's a lot of people saying, you know, that's not idea shape. Look, I don't need chat MD to diagnose me again, okay, so... It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do you have a hard time falling asleep? Uh, no, not really. Sometimes. Depends. Depends. If I'm pissed off, then yes. If I'm not pissed off, then no. What triggered did you seek diagno diagnosis? I was also diagnosed a lot of my, my life. Basically, I have a hard time letting things go. My wife was really noticing a lot of, uh... Patterns between me and other creators who have ADHD that... She was like, oh, my husband's very much like that. And she's like, you should get tested. I was just like, all right, I'll get tested. I knew there was something wrong with me. I just didn't know what it was. But yeah, my wife's been saying for years that... Been like, I reckon you've got ADHD. <laughs> I was like, who cares? I got this far without being diagnosed. Better be prepared to order resolve the siege battles if you're going to fight races that disintegrate. Okay, I will keep that in mind. I will keep that in mind. So we're not really in any position at the moment to encounter someone like that. So we should be good for a little while. I'm saving these bad boys for over here. Might land and start fighting. What are they gonna do with this? Let's bring the eagle in as well. It is done. Oh, that actually did a fair bit of damage. No, 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 no. Alright, did we chuck him off? How'd we go? Yeah, it looks like it did a bit of damage, just didn't see it. We've also got Flock of Doom now. Glorious! Taste my 
Just because we can heal the damage doesn't mean we should take these um, crossbows to the face. There are a lot of enemies here. Oop. Like I just said, don't want to be taking that to the face. Come on, move, 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 move. Yeah, I think the Dreaming Ring was a good choice. Okay. We're in a good position here to hold our ground. Thank you, Mr. Sakai, for the Super Chats. I did. Uh, Ligz did a 50 SEK Super Chat. Here you go, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. And Mato Scum... Scum? I don't know. Did a 50 SEK Super Chat. Hope you're having a good day. I am having a good day. Hope you're having a good day as well. Thank you for the Super Chat. And Soaring E... I read that one. Yeah. Probably for the third time. Yeah, appreciate those Super Chat, guys. Sorry I missed it. Chat moves up pretty quick sometimes. This one here is really straggling behind, so we might be able to use our Hawk Riders to go take him out. Alright, we've thinned them out by a lot. That extra ammunition's really come in handy, because we would have run out by now. Because every single shot of the Sisters of Twilight is really quite devastating to enemy infantry. up a little bit. In hindsight, I probably didn't need to recruit this guy, but I didn't realize there was going to be two armies sitting in there. Sisters of Twilight! Fraxina. Have you seen other Australian YouTubers like Magical or Mercy? You mean in person? No. Maybe one day, but not, not yet. Dave Frags did a five pound super chat. Good afternoon from the UK, you fine human. Much love, brother. Have a great stream day. All right, thanks, dude. You as well. Appreciate the support. That charge did nothing. <laughs> Stopped it dead in its tracks. I didn't stop that one dead in its tracks though. But that charge didn't do very much. So that's all good. Oh, no, 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 no. You've had enough. You can, you can move back now. Yes. Straight away! Eternal Guard! The forest speaks! Let's bring these guys back over here. Well, all my spearmen are tied down at the moment, so... Can't protect my flanks perfectly, or even adequately, but we're, we're managing. Oh, get this one out of here. Oof. You're really going for my hero there. That was very nice. Gonna mess with me. For the eternal realm. 
Right, we need to pull our archers back. We're just uh, too much in melee here. We need to hold them back a bit. Closer, there we go. Guardians of Lauren. Just need that army losses. Stay away from him. This guy here is pretty quick. Got us again, but I think we just army lost them. There we go. Alright, we took a bit of damage, but way more damage has been done to them than to us. I think we're gonna be fine. It would it would be great if you could kill him. And just try to kill as many of them as possible, because we've got to fight them again. What do you recruit early game Wood Elves? Uh, either go Dryads or I go uh, Glade Guard. Usually Dryad. It depends on which faction I'm playing as. So if I'm playing Durthu, I'll definitely go Dryads. I don't find Glade Guard to be very good anymore. Their firing rate's pretty slow. It would be great if we could get a bit of healing done. My bow Arahan and Nestra, bloody battle. Right, you two need to go and help that out. Plus, we'll also be able to take on captives and recover quite a lot of the damage. I, I think we're fine. Considering it gave us a valiant defeat, and all of our units are in pretty good shape. We're fine. Are Glade Guard as good as High Elf Archers? No. No, they're not. I think they come in smaller numbers. Their range isn't quite as good. They're not as good in melee. The Wood Elf Archers later game Archers are better than High Elf ones, but their earlier game ones are not. Is the special ability for Hawk Riders better for single entity sniping? I find they miss small targets a lot. Yeah, I don't find them particularly good at taking out uh, single entities, unless it's a big boy. Alright, fair bit of damage done there. And we can take on captives. We might even be able to auto resolve this now. Good. Don't worry about that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, they've got some got some good stuff bonuses in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with melee attack and melee defense because they're not amazing in melee just yet, but they can be. It 
searching for fret. Hmm. Since this is the end of this faction, I'm going to allow it. This is the life. Yeah. Good. Nobody likes a siege. I could sack an occupier. No, I couldn't. I got no movement. We will make you welcome. Do the Sisters of Twilight have access to that one office that makes Dirthu plus Tree Army practically unbeatable? Tree Singer or something like that? Yes. Yes, so that is... Yeah, Tree Singer of Isha, which gives regeneration for Dryad, Tree Kin, and Tree Min units. So yeah, giving that to Dirthu can be very powerful. Or You don't, you don't even have to give it to Dirthu. You can give it to any Tree Man. Alright, now that that's done, so we can build this for a tiny little bit of money. That hasn't changed. I don't think that that's particularly high value. In fact, it might be better to just grab... Uh, let's see. This one here will reduce construction costs here by 5%, so that could save us a fair bit of money. More so than if we were just building this. Because some of the wood-off buildings are fairly expensive. Plus the growth would be nice. That just... That'll provide value later down the track. If we still own it then, we can always just switch it. It's not a big deal. Alright, get rid of... Uh, do we need to get rid of this guy? Well, recruit a couple more. Alright, now that we've done that... We've now met Marathi. And there's... We've also met this one. So, what's her problem? Aversion. Ooh, is there a landmark at, at uh, Quintex? No. If we punch our way down here through Kislev, these are some pretty good settlements. And meeting with the High Elves is actually pretty good. Because usually Katep leaves us alone. Usually. Especially if we go to war with the Broken Chains. Because I could go and fight him. He's easy. He's a pile of bones. But it requires me a lot of distance. Whereas I could get to Bleakhold Fortress really quickly. Like I said, I want to be aggressive. I think we should take Stanky Fingers out. Because I feel like she's going to be a bitch. And then take out Marathi. This will just passively gain that over time. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to be friends with... Hang on, let me just check to see how strong they are. Mm. See, what they might do is just jump over here and then come over here. There's also Torox. Torox has been known to declare war on us in the past. Contemplating killing. Just trying to decide what to do. Yeah, I think she'll be hard to be friends with, so I think we should just kill her. Nestra. And plus, if we take her out now, she's not going to have shitloads of curses. Alright, I don't think we need you. You're just costing me money. Thanks for the item. I'll take that and that. Yeah, I think I will go for that. So that means I'll leave Katep alone. Uh, I don't think I want to join his war right now, though. But we'll just see what happens. The game has a habit of throwing curveballs at you. Alright, next turn we'll be able to build that. We've got plenty of money. We've got this being built. Diplomacy over here seems fine. Let me just check again. Yeah, everything of that seems fine. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Torox will raise Vol's anvil around 12. Turn 12. Yeah, and it's fine. Look, none of these outposts are really that important. Yeah, there's loads of people that will just randomly declare war on you. So, I'll just go after the one that's closest now. Okay. Here is an interesting thing. If we fight this battle manually, leave this one alone, don't wipe it out, and just kill this one, we might be able to get 
be able to get another battle out of it. Now, why is that important? Not for experience, but for forest health. It'll help speed it up a little bit. And it'll also help with getting Forge of Daith uh, upgrades. So, I'm going to fight this manually to cheese that. So, what we want to do here is just snipe the Lord and leave the... Um, leave the unit out of it. Because they'll just get another Lord after she's dead. And she's worth like 80% of the bounce power. Oh. Are all Wood Elf settlements now... These battles. Well, that definitely makes them all more defensible, for sure. Do you know about the disintegrating bug in Siege maps where your game crashes? I, people have been going on about it a fair bit. That's another reason why we should probably not go and fight Katep. Alright, so what we want to do here, turn everything off fire at will. And we want to get the these two here. And this one. Everyone else just hang back over here. Don't build any barricades or anything. Freaking auto skirmish mode. It's also a good opportunity to get a little bit of healing in. Do you agree with the following? <laughs> Fuck off, dude. No, 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 what the hell? I didn't even tell you to shoot that one. <laughs> what? You weren't a fire at will. The hell was that? We're trying to keep this one alive. And you killed four of them. Alright, now we have to keep her alive. Right, we have to do the opposite now. Alright, everyone can go back and fire at will. Stop, 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 stop. Are you planning on stealing heroes in this campaign? No, I never plan on stealing heroes. I find it boring and useless. It was interesting the first time, but I don't like doing it at all. Yeah, the whole stealing heroes, that was, that was like, interesting for, like, a day, and then it was just really not interesting after that. Okay, cool. Ooh, there's also Clan Greedus. Oh, there's also the... Ooh, we probably should have been in better shape. The, um, the thing that might show up here. When's that coming? Because yeah, I don't have to rush back. I thought it was turn five. I can't remember. Serene Maybe I should go up to Clan Greeters because that'll be easy. You come to us, yes, yes. Uh, only we provide. What you uh, yeah, Skaven to be pretty easy to deal with, but at the same time, yeah, and that's also um, that's also part of the Heartland. This one here isn't. Hmm. Hard to say there. What's the best call? Let it bring carnage. The tree invasion turn six. Okay. They haven't captured that yet. I can't quite reach Bleak Hole, but that might be because of this one.
I usually like going up this way first. Sisters ready. Hmm. This is the life. Ah! Okay, we've also got two points for the Forge of Death, which is nice. Remain calm. So this is unlikely to have been occupied by Skaven yet. It's clear that they want to ruin Dweller. I can actually reach Bleakhold Fortress. Isn't that where Stanky Fingers is going to get her best units? It is not. So she's currently down here. Her strength ranking is higher than ours. Wow! What rudeness. Holy crap. <laughs> what if I gave her Hag Hall and then just took it straight back? <laughs> yeah. For fresh battle. What if I ruined World Ice Rock Gorge, sold it to the Skaven, and then... T nah, that's stupid. I could attack them while they're in Force March and just ruin Dwell it myself. It's not going to cost us anything, really. And since I'm pretty sure that the um, attack happens here, it should be fine. Our army's not... In, it would be good to stay in this province for the turn. That's for sure. If it is going to show up there on turn 6. That's the big thing. I don't know. You guys say it's turn 6, but I don't know. From either position, I'll be able to run back and deal with it. As long as I don't take too much damage. That battle there will be the more difficult choice. Isn't Stanky occupied with Marathi? Not yet. Not yet. They probably will be soon, but not yet. Bring me battle. Yeah, I think we'll go for for the um, Skaven. I smell things. Curses. And let's tell Marathi to go to war with them. Cut you down for wasting my she usually time. goes to war with them anyway. No, nah, she won't do it. When do we fight? Only when necessary. Crushing defeat. Alright, uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be difficult. They don't have any magic, they're on Force March, they've got two dangerous units. Actually, those are dangerous units. Uh, but, yeah, it just doesn't look difficult. Zudu, you are a fucking moron. I'm just going to say it right now. You're just an idiot. If you're being serious, just stop it. You're a fucking moron. <laughs> are you interested in doing a Mother of Stanky campaign? I've already done one, so I don't see the need to do another one. It was I honestly didn't really enjoy it. So probably not going to cover her again anytime soon. I, I don't I don't like playing stanky fingers, so I just don't find it fun. Alright. Alright, alright. So let's sit him out. Sit crushing defeat. Despite the fact we caught them in Force March. I think the biggest concerns are actually the clan rats. We can do more damage to them by hitting a bigger target. And their shields will be a bit of an issue for them. Sisters of Twilight! Hunting my foes. In your opinion, are Skaven more fun in Warmer 2 and 3? No, I feel like they're more fun in 2. Calls us. Yeah, I think I think um, there's more mayhem in Warhammer 2, and they sort of benefit from that more. Plus, the way that food is calculated when you win a battle is weird now. You get, like, the vast majority of the food that you get is based on whether or not you kill the enemy lord, which is just weird. So, I'm not really a big fan of the, how the how, uh, the calculations work. 
Um, I find I get bored with the Skaven much earlier because you, you really do need to have a mass amount of enemies playing a Skaven or else you get bored really early. It's not that they're not fun, I just think they're better in Warhammer 2. Well, it's playing Wood Elf music, so that's a good sign, I guess. Maybe that's why the order resolver said otherwise, because of the bloody menace blows, which is always a pain to deal with. Yeah, she's able to rack up just loads of kills, no problem there. Good. Okay, could you guys not waste ammunition on Menace Below's? That would be great. Why are these ones hanging back here? I'm not serious, of course, it's just funny for me that some people believe it, but fine, I'll stop now. And I'm, I am an idiot, that's a whole other story. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Look, I just don't understand why you came over here talking about that. It wasn't relevant to the stream at all. You're just trying to gain attention, so it's just annoying more than anything else. Just, just uh, what, this is what you did, right? You go, oh, look, they're, they're making a campaign about this. How can I make this about me? And that's really annoying, so just don't do that. Like, nobody is interested in that discussion at all. So, it's going to be instantly dismissed. And it's not funny at all. Yeah, no, no politics in the chat, sorry. If moderators could... Moderators, sorry. Could remove political statements, that would be good. People are here to talk about the game. You know, I understand that people are... There's things going on at the moment in the world, but that's... People come here to escape that shit. And complain about Creative Assembly. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so... There is a time and a place for certain discussions. And this is the place to talk about Total War. And only Total War. left these guys in the rear like this. Doesn't make any sense. They didn't have any troops back there. Moving 
We're gonna get a lot of friendly fire if I don't move out of that. Good enemy generals down. Only subs chat, nice. Yes, so the reason for that is because it reduces the amount of, of like trash conversation that happens. When look, there's already a lot of people in the chat anyway, so when you open it up to non-subscribers, it goes really quick, and a lot of people come on and derail the stream. The thing is, what a lot of people do, can do, is that if they don't actually want to be subscribed, they can just subscribe for the duration of the stream and then just unsubscribe. But it helps to remove spam, because otherwise we get a lot of it, like sex bots and just all kinds of rubbish like that. So it's there to make your experience, those of you who are actually here to watch the stream, better. If you want, I can put member only chat on. Nah, I only do that if the number of viewers is over 10,000, which we're never going to get that again. Sorry, I didn't mean anything bad. That's fine. I know you didn't mean anything bad, but just just keep be a little bit self-aware that you were just de derailing the stream. Like nobody was interested. Who wouldn't want to be subscribed? Lots of people. In fact, only sixty percent of people who watch my channel are actually subscribed. That's fine. It's up to you. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but. If we, if we leave the chat open to non-subscribers, we just get way too much spam. Way too much people coming in and trying to derail the stream. Way too many trolling. So, simple setting that anybody who's actually interested in the stream doesn't cost them anything to subscribe. And it just helps to make your experience the best it can be, which is my main goal. Uh, yeah, I think we should go with this. Harmony must be imposed. Okay. Now, how much did we take off from their balance of power? A fair bit. Now, now. The sisters of Twilight. Now, this of course is not a valuable settlement, and Ruin Dwelling it isn't really worth any money, but it will give us more replenishment, especially considering now that we don't lose any troops when we when we um do this. And I could possibly use this as a operation, base operations to um, recruit. Plus, we could spend spend some um, resources to uh, improve the Witchwood. So it's it's not a bad thing to have outposts out here. Joshua Samuel did a hundred. Ah, I can't remember what that is. Super chat. Um, always a pleasure to watch you stream, Legend. No, worries, dude. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. Appreciate you. All right. So you reckon next turn? All right, what we should do is recruit a... Hang on, I think there is a really good... No, no, no. Like, no. Winds of Magic Power Reserve. For all armies. That's a good one. That's not important. Yeah, I think we should get someone as a Dark Weaver. So... Oh, remember when we used to recruit Knowledgeable Lords? Oh, I miss that so much. Cunning or disciplined. Alright, we'll go with disciplined. Blessing of the and what I want to do here is just recruit a few glade guards so that we can transfer it into that army. And then transfer you into here. Good. And that way, just so it helps to mitigate the, the, um, only when necessary. the winds of magic problems just a little bit. I weave the living forest. Then... None of this really matters that much. Okay. 
Okay, okay, because yeah, we can't recruit from here, except globally, but we'll need to move next turn. Alright, check diplomacy again. Even though I probably should have checked. Cool, and let's move on. When did you get a 10k stream? Uh, I've only managed to do it twice. So, the first time was the very first Total War Warhammer 3 stream, which got 13,000 at its peak. That was for the Demon Prince. And then the second time was the very next day, I think, which was the Nurgle stream. That got 10,000, and then was never able to achieve it again after that. Have you seen Tara's video on Telebackland's Worst Punishment? Why Sterling is so bad? No, I haven't seen that yet. I What I usually do with Taras' videos, I pop on once a week and just binge watch everything that he's done because his videos are very short. Short? Uh, why... Well, losing control is a bit of a problem for... Yeah, no, we can't really do that. Invincible. All right. Well, it didn't happen. Hmm. If it ever does happen, then what we can do is have this army just sitting in here because it's actually pretty easy to repel them. They just constantly attack the Witchwood. They never attack anything else. Yeah. Set on Duty, adventure. All right, we need Mr. to put in Arana. this building, Kmyo. And if we got ambushed, I would be on. fine, I think. But what we could do is use the underway to just jump over there. That'll ensure that we... Well, it'll reduce the chances of taking... Damage, I suppose. Um, you might actually be better off coming over here. Because that way... We've got... I am ready. This, Growth of the Forest, which will help a fair bit. And that way, you can still recruit them here. Alright, I also haven't done this in a couple of times. Let's have a look. So, I, I like the Dreaming stuff. There's the Dreaming Cloak. Yeah, let's get the Dreaming Cloak. I should have gotten that. It is all I have dreaming for. Bow. Sister, give it me. That'll be useful when we need to construct stuff. Let me just I see here. I'll be needing to construct something next turn, so let's build that. My thanks, Master Smith. And we'll put it on Why on her, but... Um, tools of war? Do you know what would have been great? If they could have had a set bonus with all this. Since they, they did introduce set bonuses, I, I really feel like they should go back and have a look at this. Because set bonuses were such a cool um, mechanic that they introduced into Warhammer 3 and they seem to have forgotten about it. They're just not introducing new ones. Alright, money's definitely good enough for us to justify a few more of those. Uh, actually, 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 now that I think about it, this settlement's going to be done fairly soon. I'm going to need the money for that as well. So this building is going to require 4,700. So yeah, best I don't actually recruit. And I heed the call. But we'll get a few turns of uh, of notice when it happens. Yeah. Save Orion. A traitor stands very well. Good. Protector of the. Honor before glory. Uh, yeah, look, I only did that to get an ag agreement with Orion, so... What vile as you say. Any sort of money I can get is fine. He'll probably be a little bit annoyed by it, but I can't imagine it's yes. going to be a deal breaker with us. Cool. Alright, let's move on. Do you think Daniel will get a rework? Eventually, yes. Maybe. I don't know. Sorry, could you repeat the question? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's hard to say with Daniel because Creative Assembly has a habit of abandoning uh, mechanics that don't resonate with the community. It's been a year and a half since Warhammer 3 launched and Daniel hasn't really received any serious update. So... 
they've done little bits here and there, but I don't think there's going to be any major overhaul from him. There's, it, it's really hard to say. It could be a lost cause. There's so many other things that they would be better off fixing up. They they really missed their opportunity to capitalize on on the demon dress up game. AO Gaming did a fun little super chat. GM Legend, uh, good morning. Um, I'm going to do three faction campaigns till the next. DLC with Empire of Darwin, Nurgle, Fessus, which recommended to gain audiences. Thanks for the super chat. My recommendation to gain audience is to pick the one that you enjoy the most and challenge yourself the most. Oh, and there it is. And, um, well, I'm not going back. Uh, And clickbait. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. I hope that, that helps. Um, as for which ones, I don't know. Reichland usually does pretty well. Um, as for dwarfs, I don't find the dwarfs are good for clickbaiting. And Nurgle is usually pretty good for views. So I would avoid... Pick something quick with the dwarfs. Anyway, good luck with that. There's a good landmark building in Paravon. We'll let you recruit Hawkeyes. I'm aware of that. I'm definitely aware of it. But I'm not sending any armies out there right now. I can go back to war with him again in 10 turns. But I'm focusing over here for now. But I am aware of that. Thank you. Um, right. So yeah, this is coming. Ambushing it with this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We've got 9 units in here. We've got a few turns before they attack. And they always go straight for the Witchwood. So we could build this building here. It won't cost us any growth, and that'll give us quite a few additional units. Also, there's another thing, is that if you keep fighting that battle, like, you, you beat them, and then you don't wipe them out, and you just keep, like, killing the Lord, you can keep getting more, um, more, um, points of this, what's it called? Forest health? So it can actually be a good thing that they're attacked. Okay, so we want to get the Dreaming Bow, because that'll reduce construction costs. Yep, that saved us 500 gold there, and we don't have enough for any of those. Yeah, for five turns though, that'll take to build. That's not going to get done. Well, it might not get done in time. Yeah. Yeah, because that will be that'll be coming out in three turns, and then it only takes two turns to get here. Maybe even one turn. So I don't think that's gonna get done in time. This one will be done in time though. That'll give us two additional war dancers, plus some extra public order. Okay, and that's same price. Okay, yeah, do that one instead. Alright, you just sit in there and we'll recruit a few units. But yeah, I'm not worried about that. Hang on, let me just check it my equipment. glorious battle. To battle, sister. Oh, right. right. Uh Yeah, okay. They will know order. So let's do let's do the um the dreaming bow cheese. Dreaming something cheese. The dreaming ring? Yes, dreaming ring cheese. How many menace blows are we looking at here? Two. Okay, that's not so bad. They should add a notification for days fours, or always forget to spend it, and, and stays at three hundred three for several turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could, I guess. What is your favorite equipment in general, forge or special? Mm, it depends on the situation. Yeah, everything's always situational. I don't have a favorite. Anything that provides reduced upkeep cost or extra ward save is usually highly valuable. What's the ring cheese? Alright, I'll show you. Because sieges suck, obviously. Nobody likes sieges. Anytime I go into a siege, I always drop viewers. Because people are like, Ugh, another siege. Yuck. And I feel you with that. So, the sea... Here's what we do. Here's what we do. I need you to run up. need you to run up and just put a ladder down. Don't get up. Hang on, just, just get close there. 
We just want to run all the way back here. Take a little bit of damage getting there, but it'll be okay. Now, we need to put a ladder down, because if we have a look at this... Yeah, we can't place it, because they... It's just weird. You can't place summons inside of a settlement until you put ladders down or made a breach. It's just weird. Following okay, that's all I needed. Just needed her to put the ladders up. Get back over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, mass blows are annoying. Guardians of Lauren. And now, of yes, we can summon them. Because Creative Assembly forgot to tag the summon units from the Your Dreaming Ring. Dreaming Cloak, sorry. Not to be able to cap points. So it'll be able to cap the town square. And we can just fly over there and pop it straight down. Oh man, they really want to smash this unit. Sucks. You have to give the order over and over again or else they forget. Alright, at least that should be the last of that. Man, menace balloons are so fucking annoying. Okay, now all we gotta do is hold them back. So you can see it here, this is a unit that doesn't decay over time, and it's capping the plaza. That's been in the game since since Immortal Empire, so it's been in there a year, I've known about it the whole time. You used to be able to cap points with your flying glade captains, but they patched that one out. Yeah, El Mojo, Mojo is uh, talking about it there. But yeah, just sending one in does take a long time for it to cap it. Which is why we've got to try to slow down their approach wherever possible. Alright, they've capped it. And we just got to try to hold. This way. Nope, they've come around this way. Stay there. Come here. That's it. Just gotta delay him. Every second counts. Can you still sap? Cap with hidden unit. Um, I don't find it works as well as it used to, but yeah, you can still do it.
if sieges were any good, 70% of people would stop. 70% of people cheesing them would stop. That is correct. Yes, that's true. The main reason why I cheese sieges is because I don't want to fight the sieges as intended. There are plenty of, like, exploits and cheeses in the game that I could do that I don't because it trivializes the game. This one here does, indeed, for sure, but I hate sieges with a burning passion. I don't want to fight the siege the way it's intended, so I'll cheese it every single time so that I can just skip it. The world roots grow and also it keeps my army alive. Okay, cool. We've got this province secured. We can pick up a few of these. Oh, might not have to, because yeah, we we want to. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. You need me. All right. Here comes some money. This is good. Those who did. look. It is. Armored in uh, no, don't do that. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. So, we've currently got in here 12 units. That'll likely be close to a full stack. I share the forest's thoughts. We'll have 14 units by the time this has shown up. So, some additional troops would definitely help. They do have a tendency of recruiting pretty good units. They, they tend to have brood horrors with it. So, in the Witchwood, we'll definitely need to switch this out for a Tree Man Lord. You know, eventually. Uh, you know, we've got some good units in here for sure. But... It would help to be more prepared. Regiments of Renown are not available yet. I could easily jump the Sisters over here, but I'd like to see if they can manage it on their own. Now, this could be interesting. If we come down this way, we could hit Marathi from here, rather than this side. But that also means... I love only Keithleth. Mm. My hate I give to you. She, she's not too far off from wanting to trade. I guess it really depends if she declares war on us before we get to that point. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Clan Gridus might want peace. No. They've actually got a lot of strength. Hmm. So bored. So impatient. What should we do here? So our replenishment rate will be at full. We're slowly losing winds of magic. It's not that essential. Duty, adventure. I definitely like more physical resistance, but also more hit points is good as well. And lethal. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with health. Alright, so I got a choice here. Either recruit into this army that's about to fight more Skaven. Again, let me have a look at this. Yeah, we're stronger than them. Serene Nestra. Tempestuous Araha. Hmm. Azray Spelvi. Like I said, we've still got time here. We've still got more time to recruit more units. I weave the living forest. So I think I should recruit them here. Yeah, I've still got time. I share the forest's thoughts. That won't get built in time. Oh, that reminds me. This one here. We should build that. That'll give us access to them. I just don't have the money for it this turn. And I really do want to do it, but I just can't really justify it right this very second. Um, itching for fresh battle. Let's see here. All adjacent provinces. That could be pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Order is all. Yeah, the more growth we get in here, the better. Cool. All right. Well, let's just see how we go. When's the last time you lost a campaign? Did I? I never lose campaigns. 
Are Grail Guardians or Grail Knights better as ally recruitment? It depends on which faction you're playing as. So if you're playing as Dwarfs, getting a Grail Knight into your army can be really bloody good. But if you're playing as the High Elves, Grail Knights are definitely better than Dragon Princes, in my opinion. It just depends on what you, what faction you're playing as. Come back for the capital again. No, I'll manage this. I'll manage it. Alright, there goes Karak Norn. That's good. We, we got time. We got time. Twin defenders of the glades. Seeking purity. Now we definitely don't want to get ambushed. How fast are they recruiting? I don't think they recruited much. Bring me battle. If I stand here, I should be able to make it here next turn. Ariel sees all. Moving with grace. Mm-hmm. Azrae Mage. All right, let's let's recruit some more of this into this army. We need to prepare for the Skaven. Do you know who I am? Doc. Okay, that's good. That's good. Wait, when did he become? Wasn't Daith there before? When did he take over? Where's Daith? Lord of what the fuck happened to Daith? He's gone. Or did they move him somewhere else? Lord Daith disappeared from the campaign map. Huh. Why? I will not believe a word you Oh no, Biff. Those who uh, trading with Carcassonne. I don't see any issue with that. Past, present, it is done. At your service. Yeah, alright, that's all good. Bow to me, me. You didn't build landmark? I know, I know. Like I said, it's not urgent right now. It's not something that I want to rush towards at all costs. We've got other things that we need to focus on first. Yeah, it's not going to provide any garrison. Let's just get through this first. Yeah, rushing a doomstack is not that important. Alright. Yeah, we'll leave that there. I just, I don't have the money for it right now. I've got money to recruit, which I'm recruiting over here. But let's not recruit with the Sisters of Twilight. I think 17 is enough for now. Good, the growth from here did translate over. So we're getting tons of that over. That's good. Okay, let's move on. He's nowhere, maybe next DLC. Daith is not enough of a legendary lord to warrant a DLC. Do you know what sh they should do? They should have Daith show up in this faction to be like a recruitable lord from the get-go. Just be a, a, a glade lord. Yeah, look, they're running away. Swap lord. Well, from this one? No, 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 that one is fine for now. I'll swap it to Treeman at the last moment. Okay, so win three battles against Greenskins will give us the... And Bretonia, okay. All in due time there. Invasion imminent. Alright, so looking at this, we have... We've got 16 units. I don't think they're going to have a full stack. And by the look of this, because like the next turn they'll just sit there, right? They're not going to attack next turn. It looks like it still might be a turn or two away. So a few more would help. If we must. All right, we've also got Forge of Death that we can do. So we've done the the tier one dreaming stuff. What about a Death's Blessing? Would that help us in the coming fight? That would help a little bit. What else is there? This one here can help with recruitment costs.
That's not bad. Research rate's not bad, but 5%'s not going to do much. Okay, I think... I think this one here will be good. I'm going to grab that. Since money is a little bit tight, I'm going to put the Twilight Standard over here. So that we save just a little bit of money. It's not heaps, but it adds up over time. Thanks, I appreciate the respond. I reckon between Thorgrim, Thorak, or Belagar. Yeah. I don't think you can really go wrong with any of the dwarves. I just don't think they're big ticket... Um, uh, like, to bring in viewers. I'm just gonna order that. Yeah, that's fine. I'm a sack and occupy it. Loot it. We will return. When do we fight? Only when necessary. They shall join the we. Yeah, a little bit of damage on this really doesn't matter. Now, we can build this one here for... Some exotic animals being produced. Yeah, that's that seems fine. That seems fine. Let's do that. Wait, how much does that cost to build? Yeah, it's fine. Do that. Listen. Could all oh, no no no. We're good. Have we got access to it? No, we don't. Because we're not uh, Together, not ranked ten yet. All right, we should be able to reach their final settlement over here. There'll probably be a fair amount of them. Bad plan, Steve. But I, I think we'll manage. Maybe I shouldn't have auto resolved. Ah, uh, the Skaven are easy to deal with in the early game. We should be fine. We took out their main army at the start. All right, let's get Curse of Enra here. Actually, might be better to get. Yeah, no, no, let's do that. There's a bit of Skaven corruption as well. I think I want to save up to upgrade these. The woods Alright. So, over here we can now get to tier 3, if I had money, which I don't, and just need a little bit more cash. Protector of the realm. Ooh, Dark yeah, you're about to get wiped out. Your flesh will roast if I'm not I need the money. Valiant. Paravon as well. Oh, this will piss off lords of this land, Orion a little bit, but I think he'll get over it. <laughs> Actually, let me just check first. Lord How Lord is Orion Lord feeling? Pretty good. Yeah, he's not going to be super fond of this, but I really need the cash. These lands are ours. No, the right forget about the trade agreement. The just take the non-aggression pact. I can always cancel it. But that's just enough cash. Okay, now i got an idea. This building here costs five grand, right? If I recruit this guy here and then give him the Dreaming Bow, I can save 500. So I didn't actually need to get that agreement. <laughs> Too bad I can't shave a few turns off that. Present. Yeah, don't worry about constructing anything else there. Alright, so hopefully we're going to be ready. I really don't know. Has CA fixed the bug where the AI can steal Ariel? We'll find out soon enough. Because we're not too far away from getting Ariel. What do you need? Okay, this seems fine. Let's move on. The worst bug was not being able to get Keth and Ha. Yeah, that one sucked. Hey, Nisius, how's it going, dude? Just to arrive, what's outpost update? Increased garrison? No, there are certain outposts that now provide um, unique landmarks. We haven't got any yet, but I'm going to work towards it fairly soon. So these are major racial capitals. So we're fairly close to Hexawaddle. We could go for that one first. And have a look at it. <laughs> well, they're true to their nature, at least. 
dreaming bow back on your sisters? And yeah, we'll see. Okay, the invasion begins. It is a full stack. Does this... It's a full... I'm sorry, it's not a full stack. It's got 17 units. And if we have a look here, it can't reach this turn. So we've got another turn to recruit. It never goes for these settlements here, unless they've changed it. Which... I don't know, they might. They might have changed it. Molder. Just don't know. Alright, so we we want to um, kick this one out and get a tree man lord, because that'll give us a lot more defensibility. So annoyance of netlings, that could be good. Yeah, that'd actually be actually what's the other ones available? Lamentation of Despair, Ward Save plus 10%. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Let's go with that. Blastiad. And we want this guy here to be the Tree Singer of Isha. Yep. And that'll be the last time we're, we're going to be able to recruit. I might be able to chuck in a Regiment of Renown. Ooh, Walled City Siege. Oh, hang on, let me just make sure I've geared up. Kind of feeling like I should have prepared a little bit more. There will be blood. All right, so I'm missing a hand weapon. I reckon the Dreaming Blow Bow Missile Strength would be good. Um, we'll need to put the, the Brass Cleaver on you. Twilight Standard. Yep, that'll be good. Luckstone. Yep, okay. Ooh, okay. Against council orders. Shit, okay. Attack? Absolutely. Okay. You only recruited one unit, I think? No money? Well, I'll have some more money after this. Thanks for the reminder. I'll definitely go and put some more units in there once I loot this. Hang on here. Just need to check really quick how much movement do I have left? Because I need to know if I can sack and occupy the settlement. The forest yes, I should be able to sack and occupy it. Should be able to. Could you ask Vol for the Eagle Bow? Uh let me just have a quick look. A regrettable necessity. Let me have a look at the eagle bow. Uh, look, that's missile strength 15%, and I've already got missile strength 10%. That's not worth wasting a point. I'd much rather upgrade what we currently have. The extra range is not essential here. Alright, now when... Uh, this one's going to be a bit more tricky to, to cheese because... They've got fast units, so we need to prioritize getting rid of them. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to cheese this quite as easily because they've got fast units. I'll be able to rush back over there before I can cap it. But this one's on horseback now, so that will make a big difference. That'll allow me to cap this a bit faster. So having her run around could be really good. Now, of course, expect Menace below, so I'm just going to take them off fire at will and blob them up because that'll make the Menace Belows fight really badly against us without us having to waste ammunition and costing bounce of power. I'll also keep the Eagle here just for now, which will help provide us with the fear effect. Meanwhile, we want to run around this way this time. All right, let's go. put you in a control group. Sisters of Twilight! As you say. Alright, I'm gonna come up here just to begin with, because there's no towers here. 
And... No, I'm not going to do that, actually. I was going to use my magic with um, Flock of Doom, but uh, second-guessed it. Alright, Menace Below's here they come. And we can see here that they're not doing much. They'll get an odd kill here and there, but they're not going to do much. down the gate here. Right, now we don't want to rush over here right away. Uh, they're, they're leaving some defenders there, but I think they're going to bring them forward. We want to be fighting in this general area just to begin with. And tr specifically try to take out fast units where possible. Because yeah, outright winning against this is going to be a little bit more tricky because there's so many of them. And if we just go down and pop the thing right now, it's not going to work. Alright, there's a decent opportunity for that one. Blobbed up a fair bit. Okay, they're rushing over here. Alright, you may now fire at will. And you two will manually shoot at targets. I want them to snipe the enemy general, that would be ideal. Alright, I need them to go and smash this. I can use. Yeah, I think cheesing this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. Actually, a lot more difficult. But killing the enemy general will definitely help. So we'll try to do that where possible. There's another one. Top priority is just getting these damn... Wolf rats off the battlefield. Alright, yeah, they're doing a pretty good job Lord Sniping here. That's what we wanted to see. That would be necessary this battle, but how would a volley do against the warp fire throwers? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, sorry. Yeah, they're getting some damage in there. Okay, that's it. Escort that one off the battlefield. Is that another menace below? Yep. Good, we've nearly killed this lord. That is going to make a nice big difference if all of their units route even quicker. That's it, just escort these shits off the battlefield. That's what we want to see here. We also don't want to be too far away, or else their accuracy would go down. How are we going over here? Yep. Alright, you're in. Alright, that's one wolf rat gone. Another one over here. Seems to have been missing a little bit. Oh my god, another bloody menace below. My bow hungers. Moving as one. 
We see some swooping. We can't really swoop in Warhammer 3. So, no. Alright, I think that's the end of their Menace Below's. I think. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That's okay. Kill this guy. Okay, they're struggling with him at the moment. Let's just wait for a better opportunity. Good, make sure you escort that one off the battlefield. Okay, luring a whole bunch of units over here is definitely a good thing. Okay, that's this is one more of these that we gotta take out. And then we can make a rush for the uh, town square. There it is. Now! Go! Mm, they've got a lot of units around there. That's not ideal. Okay, Wolf Rats left the battlefield. That's good. Alright, I saw there's another tower. If you guys could take that out, you'd be pretty good doing that. We should also try to weaken their army as much as possible with the Flock of Dooms. But the AI is pretty good at not blobbing up so much in Warhammer 3, especially in these maps. So you're very rarely going to get like 10 units in one shot. But I don't think the margins are so bad that we we need that. Might have been better to have her take them out. Alright, I'm gonna put them on fire at will. No, 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 there he is, there he is. Go over there, kill him. Just watch out for these warp fire throwers. I'm not sure if they're gonna shoot at you, just be careful. Bringing more units over here, this is what I want. Good, sisters got their job done over there. Okay, come over here and help out. If I tell you what we should do, we should come and stand over here because this is a routing point for the enemy. If we can get them to mass route here, they'll just leave the battlefield. Especially if we manage to kill this lord, them losing a whole bunch of leadership is really going to help. So this flock of doom's going off. Yeah, yeah, we're doing some damage. Nothing spectacular, but it's only Flock of Doom. Actually, if you could land, you can actually get way better shots in if you land. Okay, looks like we got him. That's good. Alright, you may now fire at will at whatever you want. Yeah, we're getting much better shots if you're on the ground. Okay, let's bring the eagle over here now. Oh, wolf rats. That's okay, I wanted to fight them. I didn't want to get killed by them. If you rout, we're in trouble. Where are you? Get over here. Quickly before this one here routes. Okay, 
That's it. Get them off the battlefield. You fucking do not even dare rout. I need you. Okay, all of their wolf rats are gone now. Let's keep luring them over here because this is pretty good for the time being. Sisters can fight for a bit. That's fine. Have these just shoot above. Yeah, this is working out pretty well. Hey, Lemon Pledge, how's it going, dude? Alright. And this is going to be available again. Good. Make sure you heal her. Alright, 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 alright. So, Eagle's on its way. This is why we wanted to put loads of combat skill into the sisters. Just makes it so that Chaff can't do any damage to her, really. And it's good that we're just getting these guys off the battlefield as quickly as possible. It's really good. Wild form? No, 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 shit. No, we don't need that. Yeah, well, Thorm's not a great spell. Yeah, she shoots so much better when she's on the ground. They're only doing the cannot move one, it's not that bad. Except they're gonna do it again in a moment. Yep. Okay, get these damn Doom Flayers off the battlefield. Plans to get city or army lost point. Well, whichever. Whichever is easiest. At the moment, we're able to kill off a lot of their units quite cheaply by just routing them. See, the exit point is right over here, and they route it near full strength, so that's working out really well for us. If I ran straight for here, there's too many units close by, so it wouldn't work. So I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to go for it. Just not quite there yet. The more units they come send down here, the better. And also, the fewer units they've got on the battlefield, the sooner, uh, the less that they can spread around everywhere. And the harder it's going to be to recap the point, because we're only going to get one shot at it. Yeah, Flock of Doom will do way more than Wisson's Wild Form here. Okay, if these guys stand back a little bit and charge right into these clan rats, they might just cause a rout. Chris, if you go in there as well. Wolf Paul says he believes in me. Thanks, dude. I believe in me too. I believe in you as well. <laughs> it's all good. We got this. We got this. It's just now a matter of how much damage are we going to take in this battle. That's all. We got this. Alright, let's go make a run for it now. We'll just we'll see how well this goes. Hmm, this one's blocking the way. I need the sisters to keep him busy. Can't get around it from that side. Good. The season of war. Sent by Orion. 
All right, here we go. Got past them. So just escorting this one over here, it's going to make capping this a bit quicker. Because as soon as we stand there, they're just going to rush over here. And there's not as many left to rush. Walk through, just walk through, just walk through, just walk through. No, they're not going to let you. Don't have enough mass. Yeah, 600 is not enough. There we go, we're through. Alright, can I cast this from here? Nope, i got to get back up. Let's go take out this tower here, it could be a problem. We're capping that quicker than last time, as in just the overall time of capturing this. And all we gotta do now is hold them back. Oh god. If this one could shoot over that obstruction, that would be great. Yep, just, that's it. Just hold them back. Ready. Yeah, this one's obstructed. Oh, I guess it doesn't need to stand there. Can we stand over here? I'd rather not send them into melee. They've had enough. Almost out of magic. Sisters can't take much more. In dawn's name. Shoot. Sisters of twilight. Yeah, I'm just going to have to stand and fight. Nestra and Arahan. Dawn and Death. Alright, this is the... Okay, look, I've got enough for uh, Wisdom's Wild Form there. That'll give them about five seconds of extra uh, staying time. This is not going to make a huge difference. Because for one thing, the spell doesn't last very long, and it only provides a bit of extra armor, which you can see they're still breaking through it. Yeah, let this one hold them back now. Don't want to lose my eagle. Or you, get back. Yeah, they're rushing. They're like, oh no, we need to get over here. Problem. Yeah. They got problems right now. These guys will never make it there in time. And there we go, we got him. If you say so. I've noticed the stream quality is a lot better today. Did you change something? Yes, I changed a whole bunch of settings. You should see... It should be frame rate pretty stable. And we're just relying on good internet, which has been good the past few days. So... I don't know if the settings that I changed with OBS made a difference with that. I just have no idea. But yeah, they're not going to recover from that anytime soon. I really like the Rome Disaster campaign a few days back. Hope to see more Rome content. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. That was a pain in the ass to record, but... We'll see. If I if I get something, people don't people don't send them in very often. Uh, I said I could sack and occupy. We can obviously make more money by raising it, but I, I do like having a lot of territory. 
Makes me feel good. The sisters of Twilight. Athelorin makes clay. Okay. Cool. Serene and then over here. Tempestuous Arahan. What? What is it? Okay. Oh, we're not done with Clan Gridus yet. They've got one last settlement over here. Remain calm. I have no time, so make it quick. Oh, no, she doesn't. Hmm. Well, we will see about that. On solemn duty. You are such a bore. I don't feel like I really need yes, to recruit more units into here right now. Yeah, not a big difference, but I'll go with that. That doesn't seem to be active when she's not on the campaign map. The Winds of Magic Power Reserve. We stopped getting it. Not a big deal, but... Duty. Bug! Alright, what do we got here? Reign of Spines, Challenge to Death. Yeah, that's pretty good. That'll be useful throughout the entire campaign. And I do like getting to here. Yeah, they get they still get good replenishment rates through their skill tree that they didn't change that for wood elves. Global recruit capacity is good. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that. That's fine. Okay. So, yeah, you're right. I only recruited one unit here. So, they're not going to make it here this turn, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, let's have a look at... This. At your service. I can do this peace. I smell things. You stink of fear. Good go. Hmm. Getting two grand off them for a peace treaty when I can just attack them again later. It's not too bad. Because I could certainly use the money. We'll see what they say next turn. See if they've got more money for us next turn. Alright, over here. Yeah, upgrading this one is ideal, because I think each of them will provide 100 extra gold. Although that provides growth all provinces, I only need growth in this province here, so... This one provides 20 growth, and some fur bundles, so that'll be good. So that one's the most expensive, because that provides extra some, some control, that is good. Um, yeah, go with that one. Oh, hang on, do you still have the... Gotta get the dreaming bow. Gotta gotta get my discount. Discount, please. All right. So we'll have nine units in this army. We'll have a full stack to be able to deal with this. So it's quite possible we'll be able to auto resolve it. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. All right. The witchwood. We could also start preparing to get a glade captain. No, no, I said I was going to save it for this one, didn't I? That build slot. Um, if I could, okay, if I could just get a little bit more money, I can start building it this turn. So, Clan Gridus. What about Clan? No, that Clan Moore's not going to six a piece. No council of thirteen here, here. Only me, me. What could you offer? Yeah, they're not going to do that. Hmm. That's tempting. Very tempting, because I can't reach there next turn, but I can hit this next turn. Here. Thing is, they'll declare war on me the moment I'm somewhere else. Let's just see what else I can get in diplomacy. Maybe I can get the money somewhere else. Doesn't look like it. No. No, I'm not going to be able to get that money anywhere else. Unless I cancel this. That's more urgent than this. It's just, it's just getting these units right this very second is not urgent. Moving on.
Hey, Srini. He says, um, I wasn't able to recruit Blade Singers on my campaign as well, even with the requested required building. Really? Well, I don't intend to get Blade Singers right now, so that's not that big of a deal for me right this very second, but that's interesting. Yeah, see, they don't go for those other settlements, they just go straight for the Witchwood. Can't you increase that payment to 3,000? No, it said that 2,000 was the maximum. Why are they trespassing? Is this update like how Beastmen get special buildings from specific capitals? Yeah, yeah, it is like that. It's like the Beastmen... Some of the Beastmen mechanics are getting handed over to she the Wood Elves. And I am dusk. Either can I so if we have a look... Yeah, see, I can only ask for 2,000. Yeah. They've actually got less money now. I'd say I say we just finish them off. Striking Marathi early is definitely good as well, and we can probably get Stanky Bitch to um, help us out. Although Marathi will definitely prioritize us. If she if Marathi is not, hang on, let me have a look at this. Okay, the garrison will come out here. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Huh. Well, if our if our overall strength ranking there is enough to make that run away, then when they attack over here, they'll likely lose. Okay, good. Craving prey. I'm disinclined to listen, but I must. So speak with haste. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. True fair warning, crumbling, disintegrating units crash the game. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> it's... <Twin defenders> of <laughs> the blade. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with this, with Creative Assembly? The bugs, this game, uh, uh, I don't know what to say about it. You know, just, it's just, you know, just used to this kind of shit. Hey, <laughs> it's premium. Anyway, just, I just, I just gotta, it's gotta move on. All right, let's, uh, let's use the underway I'll jump that. so that we don't get ambushed. Adventure. So be it. Oh, those guys are there. That would be important to kill them as well, assuming that they stay there. Be you cannot tolerate beastmen around you when playing as wood elves, because the wood uh, beastmen hate wood elves. A season yeah. Peace, a That's more than last time, but I I'd much rather just see them go on. Alright, we've now got the money to build this. Cool. Okay, we've also got two of these so that we can upgrade a dreaming something. So we could refine dreaming cloak. That's a good one because that'll I think that goes for deep with scouts, which that's better for capturing um, sieges. Refined dreaming boots, good for campaign movement range. We could go with reduced construction cost by. By an additional 5%. It's not that big of a deal, I think. I think going for a refined dreaming cloak is the way to go. That's just a really good item. Because that's going to save us money. Only when necessary. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Blue. Okay. Okay. Cool. honest Yep, just keep making our way down this way. Cool, this is improving, that's good to see. Alright, let's have a look in diplomacy, see what else there is. Okay, they want to be friendly. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I guess she just wanted to ruin dweller. Um... 
There's Hexawaddle. Okay, so if we want to grab Hexawaddle, getting a trade agreement with him is probably not a good idea. So let's have a look here. Getting a trade agreement with them is... Yeah, we really don't want to fight undead in this, do we? We want to avoid that at all costs, so this this would probably be a good idea. It does look like he's about to finish off the Broken Chains. So that's a way we could get all these agreements without having to pay him. But I imagine this will cause a war with the Drowned. Probably. Again, don't care if we suffer a defeat. Looking at the Temple of Adioth, if we get rid of this and instead build this building here, that'll give us a bit of extra defenses. Because... Oh, they look like they've already left that area. I don't know. I'd say it's pretty likely she's going to declare war. And if she does, whatever. We'll just deal with it. We'll manage. This settlement here getting hit is not that big of a deal. In fact, what if I sold it to Kitev? Many secrets, including yours. Now, he just doesn't pay well. What if I sold it to her? To have your heart in I should pay it for more. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just leave things as they are. We'll just, uh, we'll just see. All right, moving on. Had a campaign where Solostra slapped Alithana. Yeah, well, I've seen the opposite as well. All right, here they go. This should be an order resolve win for us, but it may be in our yeah it is. Um, it may be in our best interest to actually fight this battle manually. So hear me out. I mean, it, it, it would suck if we lost this, but when have I ever lost a close victory, right? So if we win the battle here and we don't annihilate them, what that does is allows us to keep fighting a battle every turn because they're just going to keep attacking over and over and over again. So we just keep winning. Every single time that we win, we will continue to gain forest health. That way, we will keep getting more and more. Forest health, which will speed up the process for the um, for the ritual of re excuse me rebirth. So let's do this. If we auto resolve it and annihilate them, and that's just the end of it. But this is just a good way to speed up that, I guess. But don't you want that settlement to help Green Bar and Forest Health to be owned by you? Yes, I do. But I, if I'm gonna lose it to Stylostra anyway, then that's not gonna be ideal. So we'll just we'll just see how things play out. Do you think Daniel will ever be importable into other Chaos campaigns? No, I don't think so. I don't know why you would want to get him. Because you're not going to be able to import his main mechanic. So yeah, I, I don't see that happening. You never know. You never know what Creative Assemble will do. Just I just don't know. Alright, I usually like to just hold position over here, but they do have a tendency of trying to push right through. We've got some supply, so that's good. I do like to build barricades here. And there. And then block these two off. Towers are not essential right now. So putting melee infantry, just trash melee infantry here. And here, for now, should be fine. You need to stay there and try to tank him. Doesn't matter if they cap these points. It's not going to matter that much. And we've got a few war dancers. Just hang around over here. Where are you? Where are you? Yep, yep, that's fine. Save you in reserve for the end of the battle. But yeah, I'm not anticipating any problems here. We'll just have to wait and see how we go. I just want to say I've 
really been enjoying the recent streams. You just, sorry, you and chat just seem to be in such a better place than last year. Glad to see it and be here. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you're enjoying it, for sure. Uh, what is the new update about? Are they making outposts more useful? Certain outposts. So there's, um, racial capitals are more useful than they were before. That one's standing there. Getting shot. Good. Can you guys actually get in a little bit closer and get in on some of that? Because taking out a brood horror that early, oh my god, that's so good. That's fine, I'd much rather him shoot this one. Actually, why don't we do this? He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Because, yeah, he's got shitloads of armor and physical resistance. He'll be fine. And he can heal. He also doesn't really matter. We've got this. I don't know, just, just chill. I think it's more important to dish out damage, remember, because that's actually cheaper. Considerably. Oh shit, I may have actually over-prepared. Well, better to over-prepare than under-prepare, because yeah, this is this looking pretty easy. They come in on here, they lose 15% of their melee attack, basically removing their cheats. They're getting bloody wrecked by their missile units. Chuck them into melee so that way at least they'll get some friendly fire. Yeah, focus on the missile units, not the melee ones. Definitely would have been better if we had killed that brute horror, but hardly essential. In fact, if we want to keep fighting over and over again, having units, enemy units that regenerate could actually be good for us. Right, may, may need to bring a war dancer over here because it's going to get overrun if this keeps up. Any idea if Steam Keys for Warhammer 1 and 2 DLC can be activated without owning these games, considered, considering you can buy them on Steam without owning the games? Um, you should be able to, but that's something that you should really ask, like, Creative Assembly or Sega Help Desk. So, I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, you should be able to activate those keys. The archers are not shooting. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, they were on fire at will, but they would refuse to shoot. Alright, you're gonna need to get over here, because this situation is a little bit worse than this one. Is ammo region and barricade still working? Uh, let's check. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's check.
Yep. Yep, still working. There's the army losses. Go. Cool. Uh, it would be good to kill that lord, but we actually don't have anything that can manage it. Cool. This also is a good way of um, leveling up some characters. IGN gave Pharaoh 8 out of 10, that's pretty good. Yeah, hey, that is pretty good. IGN never give out really high scores. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Also, guys, um, do you want some do you want some juicy juicy info? So I've been talking with Voland a little bit behind just just behind the scenes, like on Discord or whatever, and we've been chatting about hyenas, and he's been digging up so much like development and dirt. It's actually very impressive, like his investigative journalism on this kind of stuff. But he just released a video, um, hyenas development video leaked. If you want to go check that out, there is... He actually showed it to me uh, prior to the stream. He has managed to find the pitch. Like the actual pitch that Neil Blomkamp did for hyenas. So... You can... And it's, it's, it's so different to what the actual... Kind of. It's the same sort of theme, but like not super cringe. So, if you want to go check that out, I highly recommend it. Um, the original pitch that Neil Blobcamp did with um, Creative Assembly for Hyenas. Link it. Alright, I'll link his video. If you want to go check it out. Obviously, if you don't want to check it out, that's entirely up to you. But he just released it. But yeah, if you want to check it out, go for it. If you don't want to, it's up to you. I'm happy to keep streaming. But yeah. It was really interesting watching that. Like, I think it was a pretty damn good pitch. Because uh, I was like, wow, that is so much better than what Hyenas actually ended up being. Um, I think we'll just go for money there. Neil Blomkamp, isn't he a film director? Film director? Yeah, he was working on... He was working with Creative Assembly on Hyenas in the early stages of it. But apparently they parted ways at some point during the thing, but yeah. You should go check out his pitch, it's really interesting. And then come back. Um, Connor Bao did a 5 euro super jet. Hey legend, cheers for the stream. Whenever I try to revive Kolek, hang on, a, a challenge stone or dragon's teeth, it's just a generic ogre army. Any tips? Oh, did they change it? I've done it before. You can't revive him if he's already alive. If he's already been confederated, you can't revive him. Um, so, I don't know, there could be some issue. But yeah, if you, if you want some... Want some juicy... It, like, mo I imagine most of you guys don't give a shit about hyenas. You don't even want to hear about it, and that is totally cool. I'm not going to focus on it. But if you are interested in the absolute clusterfuck that was $100 million burned by Creative Assembly, and you want to know how, just, just like, piece together how something like this happens, um, you know, that's a... Volan's a really good place to go and check it out to, um, to find out, because his, his journalism, I guess, on this is really quite impressive. Stream is shuddering. Yeah, we had a few dropped frames. This is internet, but it should be over. It was, just, it was just brief. Okay, we should absolutely get rid of this here before we um, go any further. 
So, people have said that Beastman armies in raid stance always stand and fight, because I'm pretty sure we'll be able to auto resolve that. So impatient. Oh, but they're going to come out and help. Oh, yeah, of course. I don't know why. I, sh I should have attacked the Skaven first. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. I, I'm still going to do this because... Let me just check here. Yeah, fuck it. We'll be fine. See, I burned money with Alien Isolation too. Uh, sort of. Not. I don't. I don't think that is actually the case. I think they actually made a small profit with Alien Isolation. Apparently, Tarkov like looter shooter games are very popular among game companies. Well, yeah, because they want to make money. I missed the super chat. Sorry, it, everything went so fast. Um. Let's have a looky here. I don't see the super chat that I missed, sorry. Sorry if I did miss a super chat, but I don't see it there at all. Um, if you want to post it in the chat, um, feel free to do so, but yeah, I can't see it. Shouldn't Wood Elves be able to ambush enemy armies like Skaven? Um, mm, I wouldn't be opposed to it. It would make fighting the Wood Elves super bloody annoying. So that's up to you if you want to allow for that kind of shit. I don't know. Alright. It'd be good if we can get the Beastmen to come at us before the Skaven, because we're essentially fighting two battles here. Actually, we should probably have this one pop down early. We're not capping any points. You go in as well. Okay, Bouncer Power's in our favor to begin with, but we really have to get these beastmen to attack us nice and early. Which, they seem to be taking the bait. They seem to be advancing. Oh, looks like I hit my own unit. A bit there. They can see our units, they're just not advanced. Maybe they're waiting for the Skaven? Don't know. It's allowing us to harass them at least. We're doing a shitload of damage. Pretty much for free. Yeah, that one's doing some good damage as well. That's it. Lure these Warhounds over here. Yes, I'm aware of the bug with the undead crumbling. With sieges. Yeah, I'm aware of it. I've been made aware of it. Loads of people are talking about it at the moment. Which makes sense, that's a really bad bug. I don't know how they introduced something like that, that's kind of ridiculous. But I guess part of the problem with Warhammer 3 is just become used to this kind of crap. That is that is something that requires a hotfix. I, I don't think they should wait for 4.1, unless 4.1 is like t tomorrow sort of thing. Right, that is a lot of scaping on the way. I'm gonna exhaust a lot of my ammo just fighting the beastmen. This 
Because, yeah, they're moving in pretty quick. I mean, there's loads of trash units. But still. This is like one of the most disorganized advances I think I've ever seen. It's Beastman, it's law friendly. It's law friendly. This one's getting in good amount of damage, that's good to see. Moving as one. Yours to command. Still playing our music, but that just means that we're the strongest faction on the field. It doesn't mean that we're winning the battle. Entirely melee troops. Kind of feel like I'm going to run out of ammo at some point. So we do enough damage in between now and then. It's really important that the um, the flock of dooms really dish out some damage to try to save ammo. So if I'm not seeing any major issues. Keep dodging where needed. This one's taking a tiny little bit of damage. Bitch, 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 bitch. Okay, that's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. I, mean, I don't really have particularly good Lord Sniping abilities here. Okay, that's not so bad if they want to use that. That's not so bad at all. Good, killing the enemy general. That'll make the beastmen run away. Watch out for the missile units. You need to get out of there. You're taking too much damage. Good thing I bloody looked over there. Oh, you fucking stopped moving halfway through the move order, you bitch. <laughs> Come on. Oh, crap. I really need that one. Gotta hold them back as much as possible. She'll rally. It'll be okay. I feel like we got this. I feel like we got it. Yeah, make sure that she gets a heal. Where is she? Where's she gone? She'll rally. She'll rally. Uh, I don't know where this is coming. I have no idea. Yeah, I got it wrong. Oh, she fucking left the battlefield, you coward. God damn it, I needed you. That's okay. That's okay. Look, look. Loads of units about to run. <laughs> That one there is the summon, I think. Is it? I think it's the summon. I think it is. Huge mass route happening here. That's good. I think I got this one wrong again. No, I got it right that time. It's taking too much damage. Pull that. No, they've pinned us down there. Okay, I need to kill this character here. That's really important. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is the summon, so that's fine if it's taking damage. Did my best to dodge that. I need you to kill this one here. Sisters of Twilight. 
Well, fuck, our eternal guard are basically screwed. Let's let's get them out of here if we can. Oh, man, that one went all the way into the... Let's see if I can save that unit. That one there doesn't matter. On, I saw that. Move, 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 move. Too delayed. They have to move instantly. There's not enough time otherwise. This one's taking too much damage. Just pull it out. I think we've got this. I think we've got it. Oh, yeah, look. Shit, get them out of there. Ooh. That's some damage. Where's the eagle? Come, keep getting hit with that fucking ability. Get out of there. Yeah, our eagle riders are sorry. Hawk riders are fine. Just gotta take out that one there. He's doing too much damage to me with the bloody warp lightnings. Mostly dodge that. Okay, at least he's routed now. Okay, the beastmen seem to be all gone. It's just the Skaven remaining. Yeah, try to get these two out of there. Good, those units will survive. Get out of there, watch out. You stay out of it now, you've taken enough damage. We've got this, we've got this. All their best units are gone, there's the army losses. Wait, no, is it? No, no, it's not yet. Are there any beastmen still remaining? Shit, these two ran out of ammo. I need this guy here dead. I don't want to have to fight him next battle. Shit. Oh, Ungor Raiders snuck up on me there. Alright, good. We got that Skaven General. That's really good. Looks like the... No, not yet. Not been army lost just yet. Close one, but yeah, we got him. Still no army losses. Most of our losses are just ammunition, and plus we'll be able to take on captives after the battle, so that'll be fine. Get some healing. I'm trying to run them down wherever possible. There we go. Good shit. The next battle should be really easy. Hopefully the beastmen reinforce so that we can wipe them out utterly. Or should I say, utterly. I'll, I'll see myself out. Pretty disappointed that wizard running away. She was only at half damage.
Really, is that really Pyrrhic victory? To lose one quarter of your army? When you're going up against three? Do you think the sisters are the most powerful non-spell cast of Legendary Lord? If not, who? They're definitely up there for sure. It's hard to say who the most powerful is because... Some have strengths that others can overcome. Trying to find out who the absolute strongest in the game is a little bit of a pointless effort of... But that person loses to this person, but that person loses to that person. It just goes round and round and round. Alright, if we go with this, that's a good amount of replenishment. The amount of money's not that big of a deal, so yeah, we'll go with that. Now, stay, stay, stay. Yes! Good, we can wipe out the beastmen. And that should have been worth a fair bit of experience for us as well. When do we fight? Only when necessary. Alright, we have definitely enough movement to be able to sack and occupy this. Yeah, no units got wiped out. We'll recover. It's all good. We fight for the forest. Do you think we will get Prestigors, sorry, Pestigors and Slangors with the next two it DLC, considering we got Slangors and Soldier um, Shadows of Chaos? Change? Uh, yes, I do think so. I think that we will get Pestigors next. That seems that seems very likely. Okay, so that'll be good. Extra ward save for them. Oh yeah, give me that campaign movement range. We'll probably get that after we've won this battle. You need some bloody leadership after that. Holy crap. Okay, that doesn't apply to you because that's Lord's army. That has to go to to you. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't apply otherwise. Wrong tag. Alright, and let's launch the attack. How are we going over here? Yep, this is fine. Just keep letting them... Yeah, just let them... keep letting them attack every single turn, because that'll just keep giving us more forest health. So at the moment, we are passively gaining four per turn, and that'll gain us two, I think, every time we win a battle. So that's six per turn, as long as this one here survives. We could gain more if we could turn this one here into an ally. But that's not essential. It, it's growing at a decent rate, just, just leave it be. Anyway, I'm kind of more interested in getting down to Hexalidal, but I've got to clear the way first. Alright, if we were to resolve this, then these two here are going to get wiped out. And since I can't really replace my troops out this way, I need to fight it manually. Which shouldn't be a problem, we just have to keep these guys out of it. They really need to fix tags already. Yes, they absolutely do. There are so many issues of tags being on the wrong um, stat and just not applying. Sell the settlement to the Tomb Kings for an alliance. Oh, uh, yeah, could do that, maybe. Well, they don't like us enough yet, so I'll have to, I'll have to see. That's not a bad idea. Stand back, you guys stand back. Stay there. Oh no, these ones here need to stay way back. Way, way, way back. There's no minutes below, right? No, there might... Oh, shit, there might be men's Below's. Shit. It will be done. We grow there wasn't Menace Below's in the previous battle. Maybe it's because they weren't commanding the fight. That's interesting. Can run up here. Go! Very well. 
Got some blobs up there for us to smash. And Chorps can't even get ancillaries. It's bugged. Oh my god. Oh my god. This game is falling apart at the absolute seams, isn't it? Oh god. Yeah, there was a nice boy. Well, what are you going to do? Costs are up, guys. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I can't really sit here and just complain about it constantly. Ho hopefully they fix it. You know what? I'm ha I wouldn't be that surprised if Creative Assembly just throw their hands up and go, Look, Warhammer 3 is our most profitable game, but we just can't fix this shit. We give up. It's too hard. I almost wouldn't be surprised at this point. The freaking menace belows are doing more damage than their army is. This one here is the uh, the one that we can lose, no problem. Okay, not a, not the most interesting battle, but had to be fought manually, or else we lose units that we can't replace out here. Dreaming Ring is so bloody good. Okay, that's just a summon, no big deal. It's already used up most of its ammo anyway. So good. I think I forgot to turn them back on fire at will. Okay, the Skaven army is finished. Yeah, they got the army losses, and we just need to deal with the Beastmen now. And there we go. Good. Good, getting rid of those Beastmen will save us a lot of heartache later down the track, I'm sure. Do I have a favorite mod? Oh, you're my favorite moderator. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding, but I know what you meant. Um, favorite mod? Uh, I've got to say SFO. Or the one button respec mod is always good. Henry Cabell did a $2 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support.
The enemy AI underestimates the Wood Elves outpost garrisons a lot. They tend to attack you. You can just auto resolve. Oh uh, well, we'll see about that. I mean, I've only got half a stack. We'll we'll see. Tempting to raise it, but I'm gonna try to hold on to it. Itching for fresh battle. Huh? I could just go straight to Iron Spike. Well, I can go straight to Iron Spike from from here anyway. Can't recruit any more units here. Duty. Their disharmony ends. So bored. Yeah, I think so it's important that we finish off Clan Gridus. And then here, I think, just once again build this. It's all good. Don't need to repair any of the stuff here, because... Yeah, I just don't need to. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Came out of nowhere. Uh, okay. Now, I probably don't need these units anymore. The garrison alone should be able to handle it, because they're never going to recover any replenishment. In fact, I may not even need this guy here. Because if we have a look at our garrison, it's not, not too bad. Then again, I might want to have him here and just recruit these units to be transferred into the other army. So, hang on, let me look at this. If I go... Oh, it's not too far away from a... Um, do not look. frustrate my plans. Yeah, I could get a defensive alliance that way. I really think that declaring war on the drowned will backfire on me, though. Things are things are improving with um, Katep, so let's just wait and see how things play out. Then again, she might just declare war on me anyway. Because, yeah, if I give him this settlement... Both of these will turn green. Which will provide me one extra forest health per turn. Which is not that big of a deal. So let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. Yeah, I think we can get rid of all of these. Oh, we killed the blue the, uh, brood horror. Um, yeah, I think we can get rid of our entire army here. I'll keep the Lord, but um, get rid of those units. Because this is never going to get any stronger. It's just going to keep keep attacking and failing. And that was a save us a lot of cash. And... I don't see anything else that needs to be done. Lizards are pretty damn strong. Yeah, really curious to see what the, um, the building at Hexavada will provide. Torox should be bugged out. How so? How is he bugged out? Yeah, he does. He hasn't really been doing much. That's something. Normally he smashes uh, these guys by now, but he hasn't done that yet. Yes, I've tried SFO. I like it. It's good. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> so Marathi is definitely my next target. Yeah, we can order resolve it, but like I said, I really want to get this developed quicker. It doesn't give anything. Well, the patch note said, and people said that they did. So we want to go have a look. He won't move from that settlement. It happened to my campaign as well. Really? That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Having an entire faction just sit around doing nothing. Oh my god. That's really bad. Shit. Uh. Yeah, that should be fine to actually do it this way this time. Because... They just don't have much coming at us. Which 
just that. Which has got the... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Cool. Not anticipating any issues. Well, let's just deal with it. Cool. Cool, and they're on guard mode. Nice. Should just be at an AFK this battle. Shooting at me from a blind spot. It's alright, we got them. So much for AFKing the battle. Jeez. Yeah, barricades don't provide a whole lot of defense. They do provide a lot of ammuni ammun ammunition, though. Ooh, words. Yeah, it'd be good if we killed this guy and they got a different type of Lord in. That would be good. Come on, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! There we go, good stuff. Currently... 100 turns into Wood Elves campaign, and the recent changes only adds 10% increased income and an extra building slot to certain settlements. Oh, uh, that doesn't seem very much, but I want to have a look for myself. Ever play Sins of a Solar Empire? Kind of closer to Total War game than a real 4X like Stellaris. Second one is in development too. I did play Sins of a Solar Empire, but after Stellaris came out, I never touched it again. Not that it's a bad game by any means. I, I really like it. I just think Stellaris is way better. Who wants to take bets whether Legend of Total War will stream Tomb King campaigns to titled Total War Pharaoh or not? I definitely will not do that. Yeah. You can take bets on that all you want. That is not going to happen. That's like a that's like a negatives kind of uh, clickbait. That that'll backfire on you big time doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm not doing it. Huh. Interesting. Well, now it doesn't matter where they go; they'll lose. Take the replenishment. This is the price you pay. Have you ever tried Twilight of Imperium? I've never heard of that, actually. T 
Twilight of the Girl of Imperium. No, never heard of it. Heard of it. <laughs> right. I was going to hope that'd be Marathi, but she never walks around with that kind of small snack. No, stop, fuck your quests. Oh no, that's Keth and Hera, isn't it? Oh. For while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. Oh, I like that. Um, it's not a difficult battle. We're not a full strength. Captain Rusky, there, two dollars in chat. Some racial capitals outposts have zero garrity. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have a look, we'll have a look. If we can get to one. Yeah, he's not gonna even gonna be able to get there this turn. Uh, she is a lot stronger than us. Yes, I'm not the meat. I don't know where she is. Twin defenders of the glades. What? What is it? Mm. How are we going here? So at forty-eight, that's you know, coming along. Order is all. When do we fight? Well, early, early game wood elves are pretty good against early game dark elves. Pretty good at it, especially with the sisters. As long as we're not fighting Marathi with her bloody mount, it should be fine. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good. I reckon going that first would be the way. Yeah, we'd we'd only get a like a little bit of a jump on Marathi by hitting her there, and her armies. Shit, who knows where they are? What? What is it? We'd likely be seriously under attack, but I, I think I could manage it. Maybe I need some regiments of renown. Just to fill up the gaps. Craving prey. Do you have war with anyone? I'll see if I can get Hexavidal to um to join in as well. Unlikely. Right. Yeah, I'll have to fight this manually because we're gonna have to take absolutely no damage. The counter attack is probably gonna be quite extreme. The forts don't get a garrison either. I'm pretty sure that's always been the case for Wood Elves. I could give them that settlement. I do find a lot of the time now that the AI do not declare wars. Like, they just sit there without any wars going on. They're way more Talk passive than they me. used to be. Alright, she doesn't want to do it. Yeah, giving away this, or selling that settlement, and having Hexawidal at least help out a little bit. Well, they're not there at least. Military presence of nine. That means two full stacks. One here, and one either here or here. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Because I think, even though I'm, I intend to go to war with him eventually, uh, it would be good if he comes and helps out a little bit. Plus it's, um, it'll be easy to get that settlement back. Fifty-eight equals forty-eight. We fight for the forest. Wait, am I blind? Let me have a look here. I thought it said fifty-eight. Harmony shall reign. That says fifty-eight. 
Or did I say 48? Sorry. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, like I said. Whatever. Just, just dumb brain, that's all. I definitely saw it as 58. Upgrade an item. Hmm, yeah, I probably should have. Oh, I, we'll see, we'll see. I might want to get three points. You said 48 by mistake? Right, fair enough. Fair enough. My bad. It happens. Do you ever use magic as a support buff rather than damage dealing? If so, then what law would be the best for supporting buffing units at the same time? Um, I usually use damage. You can usually get more out of your damage spells than out of buff and debuff spells. Usually, if you're rolling around with single entity doom stacks, buff spells become more useful. But like buffing your infantry is not super handy. It, it doesn't. It just doesn't really provide that much value compared to, uh, like I said, damage dealing spells. All right, we really need to take pretty much zero damage here because I'm expecting a counter attack over the end turn. Get back, get back, get back. Guided by the weed. Quickly. Put that in there. Very well. Yeah, she'll be fine. I can heal her as long as she doesn't leave the battlefield. That wasn't a very good use of it. They won't if Skeggy's still alive. Well, they're not at war with anyone, apart from from here, so... Skeggy is probably dead. Try to kill this wizard. Awaiting orders. At once. Dawn and dusk. Deepwood mend. Yep, no issues here. Loads of damage in with our flock of dooms. And they're trying to shoot at sisters. I can't have that. Hunting my foes. Bringing harmony. Sent by Orion. With me, sister. Got this. Alright, now we just need to do some healing. I don't think there was any casualties. And we don't need to run them down. Mm. 
I think I might get one more cast. Unless these ones over here can manage to just harass them for a little bit and keep them on the battlefield as long as possible. Alright, that should be good enough. That's practically zero damage. Maybe just a few points here and there. If you research discovering other forests at turn 10, you can get the mission for Laura Lord and kill Skeggy to confederate. Uh, that's cool, but I don't think I'd want to get them that early. Because you'll have low tier forests. Let the AI build it up. Because they oftentimes they build it up quicker than you can. So be wary of like early game confederations. Like super early. Unless you're like one of those really rich factions like High Elves. Which have all of their factions all nice and close together. So confederating is actually pretty good. Alright, uh, I'm not going to sack it, just going to seed it. Alright, we got two points here. Let's see if upgrading one of our things is worth it. So I could upgrade the Dreaming Ring. But honestly, getting this up in tier doesn't make that big of a difference, really. Whereas getting that one there and getting Dreaming Cloak 3... We'll summon a Waywatcher unit, which is way better than Deepwood Scouts, and reduce our upkeep cost. Give us Stalk and Snipe. Dreaming Bow. I could reforge it for a few turns. Nah. No, we'll just. We'll, what about Dreaming Cloak? Or uh, Boots? No, that's fine. Just leave it be. How are we going over here? Yep, yep. Grastiad. Grastiad. Wait, super cheap. All right, so right, right, right. Okay, we can get a trade agreement with Paravon, which I really don't see as being that much of an issue because I could just use more cash. Not gonna worry about um, about that. Yes. Let's just see how much Orion is getting pissed by that. No, he doesn't. He, like he doesn't like it, but he's. He'll tolerate it, I think. He'll tolerate it. Alright, cool. Alright, we'll be able to get some more Hawk Riders next turn, but it'll take some time to actually get them over to the main army. Probably have to take out... Oh, shit. Stank, um, take out Stankit as well. Maybe this guy can help out with that when the time comes. Should have enough money to afford half a stack of... Yeah, well, we'll see. Unfortunately, this territory here is not going to yield much money. Actually, iron here will. That iron spike. This will give us 50 gold plus iron to trade. That's good. Okay, and... Let's move on. Really enjoying your Legend of No Death run? On oh, Valheim? That's cool. I'm glad you enjoy it. For sure. Yeah, I would like to get back to that at some point. We'll see. Maybe when the um, the next big update comes out. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I'm not going to have any of that. Two full stacks. Well, she is on foot. Maybe I can take her on. Ah, screw it. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? Will you lose? She'll lose more than us. <laughs> I should have recruited another lord here, that way I could have denied enemy reinforcements, or even besieged this settlement. But then she would have just run away. Hey, do you want to join in on this? Okay. 
Well, we didn't get attacked over the end turn, but she has two armies. Well, her strength ranking isn't that much higher than ours. It's only a little bit. I mean, she's probably just spam dark shards. Awaiting bloodshed. If we hide all of our units at the beginning and just mess with them, I think we can do a ton of bounce power damage. Denied. These are all on. Well, this one's not on foot, but this one's on foot. Your words are nothing. That one, that one isn't. We've got to be careful about that. At least Marathi isn't. She doesn't have much winds of magic. You presume to command. Ooh. All right. Ambush stance? Nah. Balls! Oh, hang on. Before we do this. Not a chance. Yeah. We're going to need as much missile strength as possible. Grab the Dreaming Bow. It would be probably better to put on the the armor of fortune as opposed to the dreaming boots. We should actually retain all the campaign movement range. Let me see, at one thirty-five. Yeah, we still retain it. Twin defenders of the glades. Luckstone's probably better here. Extra speed might help the one out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be outnumbered. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be outnumbered. Well, she doesn't have Dark Conduit, so... Ah, uh, whatever. We, we, I, can, I can bat in, surely. <laughs> Decisive defeat. Spammed basic units. What's the map look like? The map is gonna determine whether or not I can actually win this. It's the same map you always fight in. Alright. It's time for one of those Legend of Total War moments where I either spectacularly overcome these odds or completely fuck up. There is no in-between. A lot of shields? Yes, it is a lot of shields. Indeed. Indeed. Only flock of, flock of doom, meh. Alright, so here's one thing I'm thinking. Wasting ammo. I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> I'm very badly outpowered. They will shoot at the Sisters of the Twilight. Now, obviously hiding our units is the way to go. I think hiding up here is probably ideal. Just really keep an eye on them. But if we're going to fight, I'd much rather fight here. So I want to keep it close by just in case. So, your control group one, your control group two, your control group three, your control group four. Oh wow! You know it's serious when I start using control groups. All right. Let's first see about wasting ammo. See how that goes. We should use this eagle to waste ammo. We'll see if they go for that. Shields won't save them for sisters' ammo. That is correct. Harmony warfare. Move them down this way. Pretty big blob. 
Maybe should have hidden her. Not to say. This guy is going crazy to try to kill her, but I think these ones here, if we fire at will, and try to kill him, that could actually be really good. Because he's their fastest unit. Getting rid of him is going to be a big advantage for us. He's anti-large, isn't he? Yeah. And he's pretty quick. He's quicker than us. He's being difficult to target because he's quick. No. I'll have to get the sisters to pin him down. Okay, this is working. It's working. He's going down. No one's detecting us over there. Come on, you need to keep shooting him. What the fuck are you doing shooting with that? Just get him off the battlefield. Okay, good. Alright, he did not do very much damage. That's awesome. That is really good. Get him off the battlefield. That is a good start. Because if you have a look quickly, he only did 1,000 damage. That is not much. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's a good start. Yeah, there's a lot of Dark Elves here. Like, a lot. <laughs> Could you just remain hidden just for a little bit? This is this is a disaster battle for sure. <laughs> Why isn't he shooting? Okay, now they're looking for us. Need to run up through here and run around their back. Guardians of Lauren! Seizing the position! Guided by the weed! Moving as one. I need every single shot to count. There can be no faffing about. No, what are you doing? Okay, running through here and up this way. Oh my god, there's still got more reinforcements to come. But at least. At least there's no fast units remaining. Harmony, Hunting my foes. Sent by Take one shot in there. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'm going to put her on the ground and put her on fire at will. Because she fires so much better this way. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There is another fast unit. There is another fast one. That one's got to go. If that one comes around over here and catches us, we're in big fucking trouble. Luckily, this one's not as good as a fighter as the other one. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. There is a real possibility I'm going to lose this battle. Like I said, it's ballsy as fuck. More than two full stacks of Dark Elves. But so far, so good. Not seeing any major issues. That is a major issue.
What are you doing? Don't don't fire at Will. Still looking for good opportunities for these things of Kurnos. Alright, you need to get over here because there is a unit that we need to get rid of. That is otherwise going to detect us. Yeah, just get her off the battlefield. No, 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 you're this way, this way. Ah, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Send in the melee units. They've, they've discovered us over here. Alright, we may have to hold a defensive position. Alright, press fire at will. Okay, well, hiding didn't work. It's, it's not done. Not done deal yet. There is a nice number of them over here, but please don't let the terrain block them. I don't, can't get any closer right now. Watch out, watch out, watch out. So they're slowly going to make their way up through here, and we need to harass the shit out of them. Alright. Can't get a great shot. That'll suck, but let's just go for that. No, don't fight. Don't waste ammo on that. Oh man, they're fucking everywhere. Actually, go after this here. Where'd my eagle go? Uh, go that way. I might actually try to get back down here. So good, I think. Because like I said, if we're going to have a fight, we should fight here, not up this way. This is much better terrain for an archer fight. We never miss. The season of war! Sisters of Twilight! Shit. Hand of the forest! Bringing harmony! Damn witch elves. Fucking... Assholes can't do anything until that rampage ends. I hate rampage so much. Oh my god. Come on, rampage. Could, no, they're just going to keep doing it until she routes. That is not ideal. Come on, get out of there. I got control of it. I got control. Let's go. Come on, get out of there, get out, get out, go, 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 go. You can still heal, move, move, move. You're okay, you're okay, good. You're okay, good. Eagles over here, good, draw them away. Get out of there, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're okay. Get over here. Alright, we won there, let's get over here. We're okay, we're okay. 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 Well, we've taken out a few of their units fairly cheaply. Okay, you may fire at Will again. 
you... Yeah, just keep staying out here. Okay, all good, all good. Not feeling too much pressure, they're not sending much at our main force over here, which is exactly what we want. Yeah, I think wasting ammunition was a bit of a failed effort, because they just blob up their missile units and then they don't shoot, so trying to waste ammo actually kind of doesn't work, because they're so bad with their missiles. But that's okay, I'll just dodge. Everything's fine here. Just Marathi, yeah, Marathi's got regen, so going after her may not be the most ideal thing to do. Okay. Well, we're ready for them over here, unless they hit us in the rear. Still got the Dreaming Ring I could use. With me, sister. At once. Come back around this way. I want to try to lure some more out this way. Calls us. Shit, 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 shit. Don't want to get touched by Witch Elves. Because they cause Rampage, which we just had a problem with that. Ah, uh, go around that other way. Alright, we've done a ton of damage with Flock of Doom, but we still need to do a lot more. Honestly, this isn't going too bad. It's just a, it's just a tough fight. Also, it wouldn't be too bad if we can get them to shoot their own troops. That'd be interesting. Still got plenty of winds of magic, that is awesome, we really need it. Good, looks like a lot of their units are turning back around, that's what we want to see. We are getting tons of damage in with our flock of dunes. The fact that there's so many of them can actually be a bit of a weakness for them, especially when you're using air of effect magic like like this. If you manage to get them to blob up, you can cause some serious damage. Especially on their shielded units, that's what we really need to flock of doom, because shields don't block magic. Yeah, I don't want to lure them over here just yet. Just way too many of them. Isolated unit of dark shards there, that might be good to hit. 
At least they've brought in all their reinforcements now, so they have at most, at the very most, two full stacks. We've only got 11 more casts of Flock of Doom remaining. Okay, they're sending... They're sending about half of their army this way. That's fine. Maybe they're trying to move around this way. That is also fine. Yeah, yeah, they're not actually going for army. They're actually hidden. Okay, that's fine. You can see here... Oh, we're almost out of ammo, but 500 kills with the sisters is awesome. This is looking a lot more even now. Their army's been torn to shreds. Looking way more even. At once. One overcast flock, uh, miscast, and it costs more winds of magic, so it wouldn't be worth it. Let me just see. Yeah, it would. It absolutely isn't worth it because it doubles the damage, doubles the cost, and gives you a chance of damaging your own character. There's no advantage to it at all doing that. Absolutely none. Well, that's the last shot. Alright, well, we need to start luring, luring them a little bit at a time over this way, I think. I've still got a bit of Winds of Magic left I can use. And also, all their forces are getting really quite exhausted. Alright, I'm going to try to get the Sisters of Twilight back over here and pop down that Dreaming Ring, uh, Dreaming Boots, whatever it is that causes the thing. Dreaming Cloak, that's it. Summon the additional unit. You know what? These units are so slow now, I reckon harassing them this way. Oh, actually, that might be a bad idea. Yeah, don't lure them that way. This way over here. Speed of Azrael. Send Louis. For her curtain. Oh shit. Yeah, that's why I thought it might have been a mistake to come here. Isolated, take it out. Good, she's now done 50,000 damage. Okay, it's Sisters of the Twilight are at their max region now. But I'm feeling really confident that we got this. Their army is really disorganized here. They've already lost at least three quarters of a stack. They've lost their two best units already, apart from Marathi. Okay. 
Yeah, they're just not interested in attacking our army at all. They're just going after our fast units. People said F. Did we did we lose the stream temporarily or something? No issues on my side. It says it's green. Yeah, no, no. It wasn't at my end, guys. I'm all I'm all green over here. Okay. All right. A little bit. Lighting the path. Hunting my foes. Sent by a wild. Yes, quick. Stream is there for one sec. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We are actually having some turbulence. Yeah, yeah, I can see it now. You can there is a little bit of turbulence. Hope for oh zero. Shit. Just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. This this happens. This happens sometimes. All right, we got a stable green connection now. Let's hope that's the end of it. Yeah, I'm not having any frame issues in the game itself. It's all just the freaking internet. What are you gonna do? We're ready for them now, I think. We've dished out 60,000 damage with our magic. Our archers have... Oh shit, forgot about this one. Well, good thing that's just the summon. Yeah, I really should have put it down over here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, stay away from that. Stay away. I got one more, one more cast left, and then you can just chill. Okay. Why aren't you shooting? Alright, I've used up all of my Winds of Magic. 66,000 damage. I think that's pretty good. Looks like she's overcasting Melkoth, mystifying Miasma, but that is unlikely to cause any casualties, so the Dreaming Ring can just recover that. We know that she has pretty low Winds of Magic. Yeah, this one's gonna get wrecked. Alright, I'm gonna bring my Archers up. Since they just don't seem to be interested in fighting them at all. Since they're in the water, this is the best opportunity to get them. They seem obsessed with going after the summon unit for some reason. Whatever. Their choice. Alright, we got everyone fire at will. Yep. Let's get that unit. Yeah, don't worry about that over here. Don't worry about this. And it just started playing what else? Well, Lizardman music. I think we've got this. Try to hold them back wherever we can. Ready. 
Oh shit. Yes! You really gotta go for those dark shards. No, no, leave him there for a bit long. It's just regimented for now. Ready and able. Advance. Sisters of Twilight. I think we are tearing them to absolute shred. Oh, that's bad timing for that murderous prowess to show up. Blade Guard are weird, they don't function very well. At once! They must fall! Bringing harmony! Archers ready! Eternal Guard! Oh, Eagle's having trouble. Let's get it back. I can heal it. Guard mode, bitch. Sisters of Twilight. Ariel expects. So army losses right about now would be pretty damn nice. My internet cut out, uh, but it just, I just put it back on. You know, sometimes this happens, I can't do anything about it. Just gotta keep going. It's okay, it's okay if regiments around right now get wrecked. Okay, go off to Marathi. Just gotta keep on trucking. Keep on going. Marathi's actually a pretty good melee fighter against large units. We having it again? Yeah. Yeah, it's having bad internet today, guys. Yeah. So, we should have recovered. I get that it was a slideshow just then. Um, this is an internet issue. Um, hopefully that's the end of it, but it, there may be more. These things happen. For harmony, for the hunt. Eagle. Here, you guys can run over that way. The forest wills it for the eternal realm. Missiles ready. Bows 
Alright, Ma Matthew's about to leave the battlefield. That's good. Yeah, she left the battlefield. She didn't get wounded, but she she's gone at least. That is good. Yeah, you're just regimented for now. You can go in. That's fine. one back. Is that enough? And we won. There's the army losses. I told you we could win. Told you we could win. Bows of cool. We should be able to handle the next battle without too much difficulty. Most of their forces were lost on this battle here. Use up the last of our ammo where we can. But Marathi is still around. So she'll regenerate a little bit. Good. Anything that we can do to shred them now, especially those goddamn dark shards. They, they were the ones that did all the damage to us. All their melee infantry is absolutely trash, but dark elf missile infantry, they just slap. Alright, that's fine with that. Yeah, get rid of the dark shards. Uh, this is better on a dragon or an eagle. Depends on the situation. If you're going up against an army like this, you're actually better off on an eagle because if you're on the dragon, you'll get insta-killed. Dragons are really bad at dodging ammo. Heal units. It doesn't matter. Um, all my single entities have... Oh, hang on. Yeah, healing these ones. I can't revive the dead, so they're all going to get healed anyway. And these ones have hit their max heal cap. Watch this be a Pyrrhic victory? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Alright, so those two units there got wiped out, but that's just regiments of renown. I recruited them specifically for this battle, so it's fine. That guy left the battlefield, didn't he? We didn't actually kill him. But that was everything that Marathi had. Without... With this loss... Um, we're free to just conquer her territory. Also, the Witch Elves that rampage your units? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine next time. We'll be fine next time. Because we won't be dealing with quite as much. Look at their army. We, we took them out by a huge amount. We get all of our ammo back. And we get to replenish by 8%. Harmony must be imposed. Good. Marathi should reinforce when we launch the attack here. The sisters of Twilight. It's likely we're not going to be able to order this. That's okay. Man, we stripped away a lot of Slanesh corruption with that battle. Let's have a look here. Ooh, how would you like an extra use of Volley of Kurnos? That sounds good. I'll take that. The sisters of Twilight. Oh, did she get her fucking mount? She lost the battle, but she got her goddamn mount. She did too. Fuck. We'll have to take her out near straight away. 
Oh, we can auto resolve it. Ooh. Ooh, is that really mattering? Probably not. Oh, but everything else is going to get wrecked if we do that. No, we'll have to fight this manually. What faction do you recommend for first legendary campaign? Uh, Boris Ursus. Yeah, give Boris Ursus a go. Or maybe, how about Kugath playing father? Nah, uh, I always like to troll those kind of questions. Um, I would recommend giving Tyrion a go. It's a nice, calm campaign. Alright, hopefully we're over that internet turbulence, so that's good. Alright, so right, alright, alright. So, Marathi comes in from over there. I'm gonna set up over here. Just trying to use them. Not Throg? Uh, I don't mind Throg actually, but I, I wouldn't recommend it for a first campaign. I don't mind Throg anymore. Yeah, the days of memeing on Throg are kind of over. Hey, damn offensive. How's it going? Quickly. What's the hardest IE campaign that's still fun? Well, fun is subjective, so I can't really answer that. Um, the hardest one cam uh, campaign is probably Boris or Nurgle. But you're always going to have some people come on. No matter what faction you say, somebody will always come on and say, that faction be easy. So it really comes down to whatever faction you're worst at and have played the least is going to be the hardest. Because what makes a campaign difficult is not necessarily the situation, but how experienced you are at it. There are obviously some campaigns that are by default a little bit more difficult than the others, but most campaigns in this game, if you've played them a little bit, they're not difficult. Oh no. What's this? Marathi's here and she's regenerating really quickly. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm just going to send the uh, Sisters of Twilight to fight her right now. Before she gets a chance to regenerate. Good bit of damage and... Good. And Marathi's down before she got a chance to regen. That's awesome. This guy's also on horseback. Yeah, Teclas has a rough start. Same thing with Kairos, actually. Kairos is maybe even one of the hardest campaigns. Sisters of 
twilight! Cavalry! We accept! It shall be done! Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him! Good. Alright, that's all their heroes sorted out now. Alright, let's start moving all of these up and then start shooting at them. Well, this battle should be over soon. There's not much of them left. With Paul. <laughs> it was I don't think there was any doubt on this one. They it was a previous battle that really mattered. Really ballsy attack. I went after two Dark Elf full stacks. And then some. With Marathi coming in. And you know, single entity heroes on horseback. And they're all gonna be dead after this. Keep moving around them so that they constantly disrupt it. I think that's yeah, that's the army losses. Cool, 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 cool. All right, that is all of their forces gone. No chance to recover from that. Marathi's out of here. Hey Legend, do you think playing a non elved Dryker campaign is viable for Legendary very hard? Uh, yeah. Yeah, the only th Can Dryker get the heroes? Like the- Yeah, she can get Waystalkers, can't she? Um... Yeah, she doesn't even need the Elven units. She's really good with Forest Spirits. Like, spamming Dryads is actually really good. The ending of Interview with Grey Book of Grug uh, Grudges was epic. The head reveal? Alright, yeah. Lauren makes clay. Well, we got an absolute ton of loot money from that, so that was good. And she should have no army left. I am content. Yeah. If we take out Sildra Tor first, I mean the Lizardmen might get there next time, but if we take out Sildra Tor first, then they're not going to be able to recruit any shades. That would be good. Let's get the... Okay, let's have a look at the damage done to the, the army. We don't need this unit here anymore. Order is all. Uh, we could we could get this. Necessary. Yeah, that'll allow us to recruit some more Glade Guard. Although I'm not sure how necessary it's really going to be, so maybe maybe don't bother. Instead, just get this one here due to the growth global bonus, which is nice. 
Okay, grab that. Serene Nestra. All right, what do you need? Yeah, that's pretty good. Apparently, she doesn't count as an elven unit. That's all right as well. Yeah, let's do that, because that'll help with the Wood Elves. It would be good if they liked us a bit more. Honor before glory. Ooh, yes, I will go for You know, it's going to... before the rightful lords of the realm, and I'll hear your demands. This is interesting. A defensive alliance with Paravon would yield... Forest health. Let me, let me just have a look at this. Yeah, because we're, we're currently growing because none of it's red. We don't have any wars out here. A defensive alliance out here. Anyone that declared war, they'd come to our aid. You must speak your honeyed words. It'd definitely be good if he could give up fighting Paravon. This is interesting. Getting a defensive alliance with him as well would be good. I think I'm going to go for this. There's the no real downside to it. It's just just money. If you the only possible downside would be if somebody. Oh. Welcome to Fair right. <laughs> That's why I want defensive alliance, because the Skaven are coming. Yeah, I find that Clan Squire is pretty beefed up. I don't know. He's going to rank four though. I'd really like it if I could ask Orion to to stop fighting Paravon. And relation with him is still increasing, so it's fine. Well, that's good. Speak. Opinion of Way Watchers? They're very strong. Don't forget to use Forge. Yes, you're absolutely right. We should use the Forge. So let's upgrade. Let's see here. Dreaming boots would be good for campaign movement range. But this one here is kind of what I was looking at. So let's let's do that one. That is a really good item. So now we get way watchers instead of um, deepwood scouts, and it reduces our upkeep cost. So we're making more money. Now over here, we need to start making. Oh, good. They only take one turn to recruit now. That's good. I believe it used to be two turns. All right, where is your recruitment? Re yeah, the standard there, take that. Saves us about 100 gold per pot. Let's do it. Still takes them quite a while to get an army together. Get away, thief. You are no friend to us. I feel like Stanky is getting ready to attack. And that's fine if she does, we'll be ready for her. Alright, uh, that looks like everything I can do. I don't have anything else to spend money on. Alright, let's move on. Grom usually attacks Paravon? Maybe. Maybe. Well, we'll see. We'll see. one last chance. <laughs> mm, that could be a problem. Yeah, not gonna lie, that could be a problem. Okay, so the defensive alliance now nullified completely because that's a negative one and a positive one. If we just didn't do that, we wouldn't have been discovered. They wouldn't have been discovered. They wouldn't have declared war on us. Um... I'm going to see if I can get Orion to declare war on them. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like Paravon is going to be able to handle this. Rip Oak Tree. 
No, I could I could probably recruit a few units there fairly quickly, just globally. Alright, I don't know. I think we'll be fine. They're not likely to come in here just yet. This army here appears to have just gone. I give up. Alright. Look, even if we got ambushed, they wouldn't be able to do anything to us, so let's do that. Ooh, that's even cheaper. Ugh, campaign movement range, but... Alright, well, she doesn't recruit an army here by the look of it. If we take Sildred Tor, then that'll prevent them from capturing it. They still like us, but funnily enough, they don't want trade agreement anymore. Where are they building this? Yeah, that's fine. Twin defenders of the glades. Hmm. Like I said, if I capture, oh, let me look at ancient context. Scourge runner chariots could be a pain. Itching for fresh battle. All right, good idea. I am going to stand here. I'm going to recruit another lord. We can just split our forces up and take her out as quickly as possible. I'm going to give this lord all of the melee infantry. And some of these, that should do. So this one is going to go and capture either Sildra Tor or Grey Rock Point next turn. I just need to split my forces up. Sister Twilight should have no trouble capturing this. 11 versus 11 should be fine. I would never let you die. Nor I you. If we go into Raid Stance, what gives us Winds of Magic? Nothing. We don't have a channeling stance. Take what you need. Rest if you must. Spreading harmony. No. With grace. Might as well go into force march stance because that way we can get the trait. Yeah. Hopefully, you're gonna have enough movement to actually reach that stuff next turn. Alright, it's a good thing we got plenty of money, because I'm probably going to... Well, we got 16 units in here, so that's that'll take on a full stack easily. If we could get Orion to help out against Clan Scryer, that'd be good. Doesn't want to yet. Yeah, it may have been a mistake to get that alliance with um, Paravon, in hindsight. Oh well. They're not that strong. Uh, do you know what I could do? Rather than recruit here, what I could do is actually use this army to teleport over there. If if they start to endanger this, I could just jump over there. Yeah, that would be best. I'll just keep recruiting, and we'll just see how that goes. Rather than global recruiting, cost of when fortune. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's move on. Diplomacy again. That would be good, I think. Because that'll mean faster... Faster stuff over here. So that gives us just one additional forest health per turn. But that's good. And let's move on. Did you give the dream boots back to the sister? I don't recall taking them off. Wrath is back again. But that's fine. She won't be able to do anything about it. Yeah, that was 
friggin' short alliance. Holy crap. Well, see you, Paravon. That was... That was very shit. <laughs> that was a shit alliance. But how was I supposed to know that they were there? No, I can't justify doing that. Find it easier to capture every settlement around Big Tree myself to trade them with, f trade them for aliens with Tree Boy and Orion. Aliens, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, fuck these campaign movement debuffs. Would have made it here without that. Fucking bloody. Piece of shit. Oh, well, we'll definitely make it here. Paravon's been destroyed. Actually, you know what? Let's go over here first. Because the sisters can make their way. Uh, but I said I was probably going to have to fight them. Yeah. Let's get rid of this. Hey, Hangfire, how's it going, dude? Yeah, we need money. Alright, well, we should get a pretty big heads up when Clan Scryer comes in through here. Speak, traitor. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe they'll just outright declare war anyway. I think that would be a mistake. And like I said, if they pop their ugly heads in there, I will just jump with this one in there, and they won't know what hit them. Oh, I did take the Dreaming Boots off. Right. Well, she doesn't... She's not the one that needs the campaign movement range. She was fine. Maybe she did need it. Don't know. You're right. Yeah, all right. I'll take that back on. Well, actually, we don't... Oh, yeah, whatever. It'll be fine. All right, let's, um, let's deal with this. There will be blood. Legend is a piss of this stack any good? It can be good if you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use it correctly, then it can totally fuck up. So, it's, it's definitely not like an A-grade Doom stack and requires a lot of effort. Alright, why does she have Winds of Magic? Now oh, she got an event. 65 to 50 compared to... Okay, we're... Even though she's anti-large, we're still stronger than her. And if I use... Yeah, okay. Alright, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Going to kill Stinky. That's the plan, but Clan Scryer is now threatening the Oak of Ages, so I might have to put that plan on hold. My original goal was to get to a, uh, a major capital. We're fairly close to Hexawaddle, but I've got to clear out all these other enemies first because they're really not friendly. But this is... We're very close to finishing off Marathi. Maybe it's too late, but making the cav building in Hag Hall will get your Hawk Riders recruit at least an extra rank. That's not worth it right now. Especially considering I don't even have another build slot. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, their rank is not that essential, because they're not a melee unit. Melee units benefit way more from recruit ranks. Alright, so what we want to do is... Set up over here. 
You go around this way. Okay, and these will go in this direction. Okay, it's good. Let's go. She should have her eagle soon. There's Marathi. Yeah, if she wants to chase after us, that's definitely fine. These two here. Fight. Where did um, sisters go? Right, she's coming in. Yeah, she'd much rather go after the weaker unit. But we're getting her. Yeah, she's going down. Last time she went down this hard. Malekith was born. <laughs> Conceived. I make myself laugh. Hunters. Right, you two go deal with that. Nature calls us. Sister, I approve. Well, I should be back, whatever. Let's just get over there. Pop that one down. Oh, fuck. hang on. Um, I need to break this first. Because <laughs> I can't stop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might be able to. There's a little trick. This might work. It worked. There we go. He's down, maybe for the last time, maybe not. Tails are causing problems, let's go get rid of them. With Total War Pharaohs now at number one in Stales and Steam, do you think it has a chance? Is it? Let me have a look at that. Let me just confirm if that is actually true. Alright, uh, store. Alright, uh, store. There it is. Number one. Don't 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 tell lies. Well, it seems like they're stuffing around to get to here. But guys, today I don't really want to talk about Total War Pharaoh. We've I've, we've spoken enough about it. Let's just see what happens. We'll see. There we go. Cool.
They're bribing a bunch of streamers. Yeah, this is usually what they'll do um, before a... This is this is not unusual. That they'll get a bunch of non totable streamers to to stream it to their audience. And that, that's fine. But imagine imagine that being your first Total War game. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, if it brings new people to Total War, that's great. They can they can dip their uh, toe into Pharaoh and then uh, play an actual good Total War game afterwards. But anyway, like I said, don't want to talk about um, Pharaoh today. Ooh, that's tempting. Yeah. <laughs> and if everything goes well, I should when be able to. You, yeah, that is worth it. That is worth it. That is good money right there. So bored, so impatient. Good stuff. Itching for fresh. And that'll give us access to obsidian there. Awaiting duty. How to find a girl if you're playing video games? Uh, play hentai games. There you go. Plenty of girls there for you. Twilight Twins. Maybe... Maybe get off the video games. Alright. Pro Faneth Rame is good. Yeah, let's get that. Strip away corruption some more. Cool. Alright, so this one will capture here, unless, of course, the Lizardmen do it. I kind of regret bringing them into this war now. And we've still got this for two more turns, so I could queue up a whole bunch, but I'll wait until next turn. Let's have a look in construction. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to trade or get any agreements with Hex Vital because I want to actually conquer it. Bastone. Yeah, I could do that. The laws of chivalry demand I... I never fail. Speak. Okay, that all seems fine. I really feel as though this lord here is going to have to jump over to... Over to here to deal with um, Skaven really soon. Yeah. Stanky. She doesn't hate us. She doesn't hate us. So that's. Well, we'll, we'll just see with that. Alright, this turn's done. Let's move on. Yeah, I kind of regret bringing Mazda Mundi into this. Yeah, that, um... That event was very inconvenient. Is Quintex not included in Better Outposts? It doesn't seem like it, because it's not a racial capital. It's Marathi's capital, but it's not a racial capital. So, Nagaron should. But that's too far north. Hexoartle should. Altdor... Like, think of it like this. Anywhere where there's a Beastman Herdstone special... Actually, it should be even more than that. But we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. Orion doesn't like Skaven, he could be called in. I've tried to call him in, he said no. So we'll just have to wait for him to declare war outright. Whisper in the wood. I think that's at the um, place. Alright, I'll probably have to fight this manually. I'm not sure. Nestra Araha. Yeah, like they put the dreamy boots back on. Haste is required. Fine, I'll go. My visions okay. predict failure. Hopefully, we get there before the lizards do. Ooh, lazy, 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 lazy. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. We got plenty of time to replenish. Team 
Alright, so we get extra money from that, and extra money from that. Yeah, that gave us a hundred. Nice. Don't need to repair the main settlement building, just provides public order and corruption. Or, um, untainted. So it's just not a huge concern with that. Cool. Yeah, you recover pretty quick. Bring me battle. I guess the big thing here is checking to see if Clan Scryer is trespassing. Oh, we could get a defensive alliance, and that'll give us line of sight. Alright, so that's good. That's given us a lot of line of sight, so we can we should be able to see when the Skaven are coming. Beast one one sorry, one three three seven did a six or six euro super chat. Uh, hey Legend, it's probably answered a million times. So what's your opinion on mods? Why don't you play them more often for variety? Enjoy the coffee money. Alright, thank you, Super Chat, dude. Um Variety is not necessarily good for the channel. Um, if anything, the channel's become better by by doing less variety. Um, I've just never really been that interested in mods. That's all it really comes down to. I got nothing against mods. Mods are great for the community, but it's just not really something that I play all the time. I oftentimes find that when I play mods, mod campaigns, that I lose interest quicker than vanilla. Okay, so we're definitely going to... Hang on, do you have the reduced construction cost? No, you should probably get that. Cream boat. Cool. Good. That stuff's coming in pretty quick. Okay, we've now got more build slots. So, you said the cavalry one. Yeah, recruit. You get recruit rank for cavalry at rank at tier 5, dude. Not at, not at, not at 1. So, that's not going to do anything. Um, we do want glade captains. That's going to be very handy. Spell singers are good. So are those. I think I'd prefer to get spell singers because that'll also provide forest health, which that's getting pretty close to finishing. All right, this turn here we need to just just chuck them all in while it's cheap. Serene. Unless the unless Clan Squire is moving around here in ambush dance, yeah, we'll see. I shall comply. That's good. Valiant Lord. Yeah, who cares about Grom? The nation calls. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Greeting, right? No. What? Alright, well that looks good. What makes Glade Captains better than Waywatchers? Uh, the ability to provide extra campaign movement range, and also their mounts, so they get more mount options. So, um, Way Stalkers are better- I think you meant Way Stalkers, not Way Watchers. Way Stalkers are better archers, and that is it. That's the only thing they're better at. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, all of that looks fine. Alright, research. I do like to go this way. Yeah, let's go that way. What is we should be able to reach there next turn. And let's move on. Bliss, oh, I, I really feel like I need to take out Stanky. Really feel like we need to take her out. But if her forces are over here, yeah, she can reach either one of these settlements. That'd be the first place we have to strike her. But let's let's just take out Marathi first. See if she'll join, just so we can get a bit of extra relations with her. No, I didn't want to press that. <laughs> that would be very bad. Okay, let's move on. What would you like to see from a dwarf rework next DLC? Um, probably. Just more oath gold options. That'll be good. 
Uh, apart from that, I don't know. Dwarfs aren't my main, so I'm not sure what I would want from, from a dwarf update. Some more text for them. Shit, I don't know. This looks good. Speed up a bit. Gatling guns for the dwarves. Yeah, they need Skaven, Skaven weapons teams. Yeah. Maybe something more to do with, um, maybe some kind of under empire. Not, not really, but like an under, a dwarven underbuilding that you can build in your settlements. Sort of like what Tic Tac Toe does. So they can like delve deeper into their current settlement. Yeah, wouldn't that be interesting? If they had a uh, like for all the dwarves, they had a mechanic that allowed them to basically dig deeper, and it, it adds extra build slots like a um, like a arcane sanctum or whatever in the settlement, and that it allows you to detect skaven undercities for one thing. So if you dig it, you'll find a uh, skaven undercity if it's there but might give you one or two extra buildings and you might strike an extra resource. Like you might have a region that just has no resources and then you dig deeper and then you find gold. I don't know. Shit, I mean, they've already got that mechanic in the game so it would be co uh, copy and paste. You know, there's also a chance that fucking a Balrog shows up. Yeah, Balrog shows up, yeah. Exactly. Dig deeper, and then... So it's like a luck thing. It's like, you dig deeper, you might get lucky, or you might fucking encounter a greater demon army spawn out of nowhere. And blow up the whole fucking region. Who knows? So it's not just all benefits. Alright, you're not going to make it there this turn. But you will. Battle. Ah, oh, piss! <laughs> it's fine. At least that's the end of them. The world roots grow once more. Was saying tic tac toe a mistake? Sorry, I meant oxyodal. It was a mistake. Yeah, I'm like. Yeah, whatever. You, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. All right. So if we re if we want to take on Stanky, we need to strike at her armies. How are we going over here? We need to strike at her armies first. So yeah, we're fine. So I reckon what we'll do. They'll come over here. They'll pick them up. They'll come back to Quintex, and then they'll jump over to here. And probably hit Forest of Arnheim, while this one hits Bleakhold Fortress. I'll have to cancel some recruitment, but we'll do that when we're actually in position. Alright, it might also help if she has some more campaign movement range. Such masterful handiwork. Why do you favor my fool yeah, that's good. Okay, it doesn't have a landmark there, so we'll just have to see when we actually get there. It's it's probably just not considered a landmark. The so after we've taken out Stanky Fingers, we're going after Hexoartle. I just I don't want to have everything collapse while I'm fighting him, because I reckon Stanky will fight us. Yeah. 
This is starting to cost a little bit. But we'll drop off a... A supply line soon. I said I was going to get that, didn't I? And plus that gives this army here an opportunity to give those units over to... When do we to her. Fight? Only when necessary. Alright, let's see if there's any diplomacy to do. If you could go to war with Clan Scryer, that'd be... Six grand. Hang on, what if I offer to go to war with Broken Axe and you go to war with that? Uh, no, I don't think it's worth it. I'll just I'll just take the non-aggression pact and we'll we'll call it that. Okay, move on. Burning through some terms. Did you see Nasimo's video? Uh, I saw the one that he did like yesterday. I think he released a video while I've been live streaming. I haven't seen that one. Lauren bids you greetings. No. Also, it's good to get an idea of what he's got. Well, the Saurus Warriors, that's not going to be a problem. Give the Dream Bear back to the sisters. What for? They're not recruiting. Or constructing. Uh, I don't know where they're going, but that's good. It's good. As long as they're leaving me alone, it's all good. Because I'm not really looking to fight them. Taking Skaven Blight and Miragliona will provide income bonus faction-wide, race or capitals. Yep, so should Hexoartal. That's closer to where we are. All in due time. All in due time. Aren't you going to do the recruitment cheese for the Hawks? I don't think that works for lizard men. Uh, for, for what else? That doesn't matter. Let's have a look at some of our objectives here. If we want to confederate, okay, greenskins, or I think it's the other one's Bretonians. Because I, I think that Stanky is sitting here. We want to take out her entire army all at one go. So the way to do that... Ariel sends us. Not going to be fully replenished. Yeah, we jump over here. Strike this one with the Sisters of Twilight army, and this one with this army here. So that means he's only going to get those recruited. Because that... Yeah, I should be able to handle that with just with these. And plus we're starting to run low on income. Okay. Also, I believe next turn we'll be able to get our first Glade Captain. Yep, that'll be good. No heroes available just yet. Okay, looking good. Okay, we don't need this here anymore. Oh, actually we might. Because we're going to be doing the Ritual of Rebirth soon. I'll leave it there for now. Am I forgetting anything? No, we should be good. Uh, Matthias Molvik did a 500 NOK super chat. Hi, Legend. Thanks for the hours and hours of entertainment and information you've provided over the years. It has made playing the game much more enjoyable for me. That's good. I'm really, that's a very generous super chat. I greatly appreciate that. I'm glad that I've been able to provide entertainment for you and information. What's the defeat trait? Stanky? I can't remember. I don't think it was important.
Why well, can't I go to the beginning of the live stream? It seems like whenever I get like my internet disconnects, it actually breaks up the video a little bit. It will be rendered several hours after the the live stream ends. So you're just gonna have to be patient, sorry. There was nothing I could do about it. Why is Hexavital always so strong when it's controlled by the AI? Uh, because cheats. And it's rich. Spell range, yeah. Ah, uh, spell range. Pfft. It's not very useful. Hello Legend, I only have Sisters of Twilight, no other Wood Elves. Will I have all the heroes and units? Yes, you just won't have all the Legendary Lords. And you'll, I think you'll miss out on some of the Regiments of Renown. But why not just buy all of it? Don't you have monies? <laughs> Our solemn duty. You are such a bore. I love only Keithleth. Racist. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's see here. If I cancel... Yeah. Approved. So there's also 10 units in there. Yeah. Yeah, but we've got we've got the big bombs. I could pick up a couple of these just to help with that battle. Order is all. I don't see that as going to be a problem. No, we, we should be we should be fine battle. to handle that. What's with the winds of magic? Well, her winds are at least. Oh fuck, we're going to get cursed as well, aren't we? Oh god, that's annoying. Oh well, um, it might be best if this one. Shit. Yeah, those curses. Yeah. Well, it's only rank 20. Hopefully, hopefully they don't spam too many curses. Alright, what do we get over here? Confident, Talent of Kurnos, or Perceptive? I'd say Confident might be better. Although, there actually, no. no I've got some saved ones. Oh, I got Disciplined. I'll take that. Captain of the Glade Guard. Yeah, we'll bring both of them in. I stand ready. A respite in our journey. Cool. And should we upgrade that any further? No. No, there's no real need to do that right now. How are we going over here? Yeah, no sign of Clan Scryer. That's fine. Those who displease, I serve the good. Lady of the Lake. Good, good, good. If you desire it. Good. Armor. Oh, I can confederate Torgavan despite not having done his mission. So it's not upgrading. It will piss off the other wood elves. Let me have a look. But that should be fine. What about this one? You have been granted no. safe Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Um you need me? Okay. We should definitely keep the defenses here. So we've got another Glade Captain that's Weapon Master. Keep that. No, we should probably just get rid of everything. Duty calls me. Because, yeah, I, I can't sustain that. It seems like Clan Scry is a little bit busy anyway. And there's another one here. Perceptive. Get rid of that. And then the whole army here. Get rid of that. Confederation penalty? Yes, we do get that. Okay, that's fine. Alright, Vol's Anvil. Get rid of this building. No, keep that one. Um, yeah, get rid of this one here, because we need to build the other economy building. Uh, 
PS3. Yeah, they were, they were a little bit behind us. Also, I just realized I probably should have um, used the... Uh, let me see here. How much does it cost? 10,000. So it'll save us 1,000 if I do that. Yeah, that's worth it. Just hire... Hang on, isn't there a spell weaver here? There we go, this way doesn't cost us anything. Because I forgot to put the dreaming bow in. Which will allow us to shave off a whole grand off that. Some money off that. And yeah, don't upgrade that, I don't need those units right now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um... Yeah, we just have to hope that Clan Scry doesn't jump over there. We just have to hope. Because I, I just don't think it's a good financial investment to leave a shitload of armies there right now. Okay, all good. Stanky, you're dead next turn. Let's have a look at Diplomacy one last time. Ooh, Karun. Shit, that's good money. So... What brings you here? Everybody wants to trade with me. Well, uh, they're they're gonna get killed by by them. So I'm gonna cancel that agreement as soon as I encounter. Things, so I'm not gonna trade with them. Get protect. At Twist, bend, mangle, experiment. Sell Vol's anvil to another Wood Elf settlement. Get it back later. Fucking genius. Let me, let me, hang on, hang on a second. Oh, <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. That's really friggin' clever. Oh, is that all you got? I mean, I... Okay, hang on. Let me have a look with Orion. What, what about this one? What about this one? What do you want? You don't have much money. Uh, Saladin from Atheloran did a 5 euro super chat. Thank you, Legend. I learned a lot. And what I learned makes the game even more fun. And thanks to you, I'm interested in other races too. No, is it? Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely do that. That's, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, and having Dorothy go and smash the rats. Yeah. What was the thing needed for Dorothy's confederation? Uh, he hates dwarfs. Uh, I don't see myself fighting dwarfs anytime soon. This one here likes sacking, plundering settlements. I don't see that happening anytime soon. So... This one likes... Wait, which one do I have to kill for that one? Bretonians. Uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So yeah, I think selling it to Durthu makes the most sense. I should probably cancel all those constructions, but that's that's really clever. Yeah. And we'll grab... We'll grab a full-on military alliance, and I'll use him to do proxy wars. And yeah, you pay me all your money. Alright. Alright. Really good thinking. I didn't even think about doing that. Cool. Cool, cool. So we don't make as much money now, but... We've secured Atheloran much better. And we'll just get it back later. And maybe he'll build it up. Not next turn, because I took all his money. Moving on. Oh, you shit. Well, I think I'll still capture Forest of Arnheim anyway, because, like, what's the worst going to happen? She's still got the other other army I'm going to smash. 
Oh, it looks like Reichland is getting smashed by Clan Scryer. Okay, whatever. In your interview with GBG, you sounded really bleak in the future of Warhammer 3 with regard to tech debt. So did someone from CA tell you this? Well... Oh shit, look at this. Look, I've, I've been... Total War Warhammer 3 has been out for 18 months, more than 18 months now. And a lot of the promises that Creative Assembly made, they simply haven't come true. The game is... cracking at the seams. All over the place. And... I just don't know. It's just, it's just, it's really hard to be hopeful about the future right now. That's all. I'm def, I definitely want to hope it's going to get lots better, but I just don't know. Nathan Vincent did a ten dollars super Hey, legend! I found that if you jump on the forest of gloom early on and draw out a few battles, you can take it and findle in the same turn. Hope you're doing well, having fun. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that super chat. Um, yeah, we'll see. Like dwarfs. Well. Alright, we got we got a few units here and let's have a look. Inseparable, invincible. Yeah, Stanky ran away. No, don't you dare jump. Yes, agreed. I'm fairly confident that I can beat that army with this. Because we want to move as quickly as possible. Kurnos guide my hand. Orion protects. A waste of my time. Remain calm. Just trying to think how best to go about it. I really wanted to fight Stanky last turn. She ran away. Because the, the very next thing that she is going to do is make a run straight out this way. To um, Petrified Forest. Alright, whatever. Whatevs. Doing it. Alright, you go in. How many... Okay, how bad is it? Craven Scent. That one's fine. Entropus. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's not good for that one. That'll have to be removed from the battlefield. Or just... No, no. You'll just have to not move at all. Agony Succession. That's bad, that one. That'll have to be removed from the battlefield. Close to feet. Alright. Um, those are pretty severe. I think I can win the battle with what we've got there, but I also think that I can bring in the sisters. The sisters of Twilight. Seeking purity. And still hit this settlement. Serene Nestra, tempestuous Arahan. Yeah, she'll be fine. Defenders of the Glades. They're going ham on those curses, but yeah, they never curse your reinforcing army. This actually could be a good opportunity to have this entire army here cursed. <laughs> right? If I just do this again. They're probably cursed it as well. Okay, that way we're just using up loads of their curses and blessings on a battle that they cannot win. Like that- oh, wow, holy shit. Whatever, they can't win this.
Problem out curses, yeah. So any of the ones that cause massive amounts of damage will need to withdraw them from the battlefield because we're definitely going to win this. So there's no sense in taking shitloads of damage for no reason. Okay. All right, we got to we got to assess which ones. Are unacceptable agony success okay so that one there needs to be withdrawn from the battlefield but then in the control group typhlosis is fine it's fine it's fine it's fine yeah it's f oh that one causes rampage yeah it's fine it's fine that's fine Gate of thought. Okay, that one needs to be removed. It's fine. It's fine. That one has to be removed immediately from the battlefield. That should be fine. Alright. Damn, some of these curses are pretty heavy duty. Okay, now as for these, just get them immediately off the battlefield. Alright, cool. We're not taking any more damage. And hopefully we're using up loads of her curses. Because she only gets so many every turn. Obviously, it would be better if they were in a blob, but this is fine. Yeah, you move back. It's okay if they withdraw from the battlefield. Where I move them from the battlefield, the curses will kill them otherwise. Kendrick White became a member for four months. Hey, legend, thanks for being a legend. No worries, dude. I don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> it's okay. Thanks for the chat. I appreciate that. Alright, our reinforcements will come in any second. Cool. No curses on them. Yeah, some of the curses are so bloody damaging that they just totally wreck your units. And since the battle is a foregone conclusion, there's no sense in losing 90% of your unit before it even has a chance to fight. We're just removed from the battlefield. Okay, they're ready to pop in some more of this.
Okay, all good. Good, good, good. Ready to fire at speed. It shall be done. Yes, quickly. Aerial expect lighting the path. Your command at once. Orders received. Yeah, we're fine. There's nothing to be concerned about here. Their army's been torn to pieces. And we haven't really suffered any damage yet. Army losses shouldn't be too far off. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, keep that. That one su that summons on a timer, so we want that not moving at all. If we can, have, if we can manage that. This one here is a summon. Don't worry about that one too much. This one is not. It's taking damage. Let's move back. God damn all those goddamn blessings. Okay, she's taking too much damage, let's get her out of there. Like I said, it's a summon. It's fine. Okay, yep, they've been army lost. Alright, that'll that'll really help hurt stanky fingers. Seizing the position. But her main army is obviously more of a concern. And taking away all of those curses is a big deal. Uh, do you think CA is making effort to make Thrones of Decay better? I I'd like to think so, but I don't know. Like, we've got, we got to weigh up a little bit of evidence with stuff at the moment. Right now, their priority, I think, is getting Pharaoh out the door and trying to make as much money with Pharaoh as possible. So that's going to be their top priority. Um, they're currently in a cost-cutting mode, I suppose, where they're letting go a lot of people. It doesn't make sense from my point of view to let go any total war warhammer stuff. In fact, it makes more sense to put more people on it because this game makes them the vast majority of their money. Um, but they might just try to see if you guys will tolerate another $25 DLC with three legendary lords with the same level of quality as what Shadows of Change had. They might just see if you, you guys will swallow it again. Um, I just, I don't know what goes through the minds of Creative Assembly. I like to think that they, they looked at all the feedback and go, hey, maybe we need to do better. But unfortunately, my experience with Creative Assembly is that of doubling down. You know, they're absolutely sure about themselves. They never question their path and they just are 100% knowing that that's what they're going to do. So we'll see. You know, we can hold out for hope, but I just don't know. That's a lot of money. But if I do that, this guy's gonna run off. Yeah, just like it. 
I really did want to look, uh, plunder that, but we've got to move quickly against Stanky. Now, I do not think that Mother Ostankia is going to make it over to the Forest of Arnheim to attack us. Also, they never use curses unless they've got a lord attached. Uh, what's going on here? Is this a minor city battle? Ah, oh, crap. I fucking hate minor city battles. Um, well, not... Uh, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Whatever. Legend, is the whole debacle about pricing Pharaoh and Hyenas going to hurt or benefit Medieval 3 or whatever it is? It's, it hurts Total War as a whole because you lose fan... Like, Creative Assembly loses fans. Like, obviously not everyone, but a few people, basically. Every time a company or an individual decides to do something bad and it blows up in their face, which has happened multiple times in a row for Creative Assembly... There's always a chance that some people just won't forgive them anymore. And they just say, that's it. I'm never purchasing anything from this company ever again. Um, you know, I've had that experience with Blizzard, for example. Their bullshit has reached a point where even though I want to play their games, I refuse out of principle because I hate them so much. Um, obviously, Creative Assembly is nowhere near as bad as Blizzard. Nowhere, not even close. But... It, it, so... If there are people out there that would have normally bought uh, Medieval 3, assuming that's what's the next Total War game, but now won't because of CA shenanigans, then, then obviously what they're doing hurts the brand. But it's really hard to say. Really, really hard to say. Because I just, I don't know what's in the mind of everybody else. Sometimes people just forgive Creative Assembly instantly. So, just, just don't know. with them. Debatable, they're very close to EEA and Blizzard. No, they're really not. They're really not. They're not outright scamming people. Like what um, those two companies do. So, you know, they've definitely slid down in terms of uh, the quality of their behavior over the past year. And hope, hopefully they'll use this opportunity to get better. That's what I hope. But again, I just don't know. Not using the eagle to attack towers also? Uh, yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, right. Been watching a lot of Total War streamers, other Total War streamers, since the Hot Satan. It's interesting, all of them typically share the same opinion of CA. Go on, you guys. Hopefully things will get better. Well, yeah, but... Makes sense. Everybody suffers because of the, the decisions that Creative Assembly makes. Anyway, hope, hope, I am really hoping that Thrones of Decay will just be a really good experience. That's what I hope. Uh, hopefully they give me early access to it, but I don't have any expectations, because I, I really just don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. So I'll remain hopeful, but cautiously so. Gotta drink up that hopium. What else can you do, really? So we need to make sure we don't take too much damage or else the fight with Stanky Fingers is going to be a big problem. Because she does outnumber us, but the quality should be on our side. But if she curses the Sisters of Twilight with something that causes damage to her, that could ruin it for us.
Okay, I really want to get this battle done quickly. Still got Hexawaddle to deal with. Can't believe it took me more than six hours, probably, to get to Hexawaddle. This is what happens in this game, I guess. Whenever you have a plan, the game decides, nah, you can't do that. Screw your plans. We'll see. I can go on a little bit longer today, so... Maybe even do an 8-hour stream. We'll see how we go. Depends on the internet, though. If they made Medieval 3 right now, wouldn't you expect them to treat it the same way they're currently treating Warhammer 3, though? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but... That doesn't mean it'll be good. That doesn't mean it'll be good. I just don't know. Like, I don't think a Medieval 3 is guaranteed to be good. It might be good, but also it might not be good. I just, I just don't know. Because, do I need to remind you guys that Rome 2 exists? But we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. When we get Keth and Ha, as soon as I can put more of the, um, the Hawk Riders into this army, which I can't do this turn. We forgive CA, but not forget. That's a good policy. Yeah, don't forget the bullshit that they do. But you don't have to forgive it. Uh, it's probably, and okay, whatever. You do whatever you want. Alright. So that was a good start to the war, for sure. Guide my hand. Bring me battle. No, never. Yeah, she made it to the city. Beyond reason. Hmm. She made it to one of the cities. I just don't know which one. Anyway, if she comes and attacks us, we should be fine. We should be fine. We'll just, we'll just gotta wait and see. Serene Nestra. Tempestuous Arahan. Cool. And this one will ca try to catch up and transfer those units into, um... This is the Twilight Army. As best as it can. Alright, we can now get more Spell Singers. Every time I see Knowledgeable, I just go... Can't believe that's what we got. Fleet-footed's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna recruit and disband because I want fleet-footed trait. Because I'm not in urgent need of it right this very second. But I would much rather get a life wizard because life magic is the best of the three choices there. Alright, let's have a look in construction. So the Witchwood and... Okay, yep, we want to upgrade. Hang on. Let me just save some money on this. We'll chuck in a High Weaver. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's High Magic. So we want to pop in the Dreaming Bow so that the construction cost there is reduced quite significantly. That's good. That's all I needed you for. And here you go. Doesn't uh, miscast base champ uh, base chance is reduced, so that's that's nice. But outside of that, that's all I need. All right, still got good money. Finances aren't amazing at the moment. Okay, let's move on. Let just check diplomacy one more time. Champion of the lady. Yep, I'm down for that. Let the supplicant agreed. Do you know who I am? Mm. No, wait, I'm not one. As Master Lord of Hellpit!
Did you know you joined the campaign? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I like playing Sisters of Twilight, and I like the Wood Elves in Warhammer 3. Didn't much like them in Warhammer 2. The Wood Elves, that is. Why not build the Global Recruit drop by one building so you can get more Hawk Riders? Well, that'll only apply in the local region, and since they're not going to be in the region next turn, um, it doesn't make sense to do that. It, that's a that's a good idea, but we're going to be moving pretty hard and fast. Um, globally recruiting is just not a priority. We've got all the troops that we need. I stand here, just ran to Arnheim. Okay, thanks, dude. I probably wasn't looking. Thoughts on the wealth changes so far? <laughs> I haven't seen them yet. I've got to get to Hexoidal. Oh, that could be bad. May need to recruit a new army. Stanky ambush dance at Arnheim. Oh, she went to ambush dance. Okay, cool. Dirty convert coming. Maybe. We'll see. By my hammer, I should slay you where you stand. You may speak your honeyed words, but I will see the lie concealed within. 33,000. Come on, you don't have any other enemies. Just do it. Just just help a, help a guy out. What vice? Yeah, they went and attacked friggin' Widrioth so that they didn't get called in by Durthu. Son of a bitch. You have been granted safe passage for now. But here's what I could do. I could give this settlement to Durthu and tell him go fight go fight the dwarfs. <laughs> yes, we will do that. Thank you. So maybe this will backfire on them after all. Orders understood. Waystalker. Uh I'm a I'ma keep that for now. Just stay there. Proud son of Athaloran. Keep that hero, just stay here. Actually, stay over here. I want to keep an eye out on this area over this way. Lord of the Glade. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What if I did it with this one? your honeyed words, but I will see the lie concealed within. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Shit, I'm down. That's friggin' good. All right. I will. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I was gonna do it to Durthu, but then thought, why not do it to someone who's a little bit closer? I could give him the Oak of Ages, but no, he doesn't want that. It's all right. All right, and then this Lord one here be disbanded. And now watch as Clan Angren comes in here and just demolishes the King's Glade. So bored, so impatient. Right. We could set up an ambush for Stanky Bitch if we, st if also if we ambush her, I don't think she gets a chance to pop down the. If we must. The things. Oh no, she's not an ambush dance. She's just right there. Whistling on the winds, hear death lingers. Come closer, little fool. Mm, the big question here is: Can we? If we assaulted this, could we win? You won't be able to reinforce. 17 Three units versus red. 29. Wait, no, not quite. She's at 19, isn't she? 28. 
and you'll have icicles everywhere. I do like balls. <laughs> Do it or no balls! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Hang on. Two eagles. Yeah. Oh, I wish we had more Winds of Magic. This region fucking sucks. She doesn't have much though. Nestra Araham. The Sisters of Twilight. Banner for reinforcement range. Uh, okay. Alright, um, where is that? Where's the banner for reinforcement range? Do I even have one? Oh, I do, yeah. Hawk Companion. Twenty percent. I don't. I don't think that's going to cut it. Harmony prevails. How tiresome. I don't think that's going to cut it. When do we fight? Only when necessary. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. They will no order. Okay, just hang on. We fight for the forest. I just realized that I'm probably gonna cause more curses by doing that. Open them up. And I can't back off. Uh this might work, it might not. I don't know. Oh god, I just added more curses on. Alright, that's not so bad, as long as it's still bad, but it's not that bad. Okay, let's have a look at the really bad ones. It's only close to feet. Okay, as long as this one here doesn't move, it's fine. Fragmenti, that one's bad. I gotta get. I'm gonna have to remove that from the battlefield straight away. And yeah, our guy didn't reinforce. It was just too far, too far out of range. More movement range for the captains. That only um, applies at the beginning of a turn, so I would have had to have attached them last turn. There wasn't enough time. Um, I'm gonna try anyway. Because it's close to feet, and let's have a look at this map here. If I back off from the city, I won't have enough movement. And if things start going belly up, I'll just... Ah, oh, fuck. Of all the settlement types in the fucking game, it had to be this one. I can't cheese this one. This is the one settlement type in the game I cannot cheese. Can you reroll for less curses? No, it only ever adds more. I'd have to back off the siege and re-attack. I mean, I could just back off and wait for reinforcements. She's essentially stuck here now. Yeah, this is the one map in the game I cannot cheese this map. Uh, Siege and let them attack you. No, she'll run away. She'll run away. I'm just thinking, because I don't have much magic and it's going to get worse. We don't have a way to break down the walls. I, I don't think I can win it. I think if I assault that settlement, I'm going to lose. I thought we had a lot of cheese. Yeah, but it's, I can't cheese that one. Itching for fresh battle, an ambush. How delicious! 
Oh, hang on. No, I need to move. Need to move a bit further back. Onward, yeah. Together. I know when I can win and when I can't. That is just not winnable. It's just not winnable. Not with the degree of curses that we had on us and every everything that we were going up against and that particular map. There was just too much against us. I just wasn't going to be able to win it. With all of these forces here, I can win. But, oh, there's um more troops than I thought. Eh, if, they, if they fight us here, she doesn't have lightning strike. Pretty sure. Um... Should be fine. Yeah, like I said, there was just too much. Why can't you cheese that one? Th that map is one of the only designed maps where the AI actually adequately defends their capture point. You can't possibly capture it quickly enough before they, um... Yeah, it's, it, but trust me, I fought that battle, that settlement enough to know that I can't cheese it. Just can't. Not with what I've got here. She can escape by sea. Yeah, she can get away. I'm just going to have to stay here. I don't have a choice. Anyway, we've blocked her from... Uh, she might try to get around and get to the Forest of Ironheim. Two cares, we don't need a no defeat run. But like I said, I can't. I just can't do that one. If I attempted to fight it, I would 100% lose. Either that, it would be like a two hour long battle of cheesing, and I don't want to do that. So we'll, we'll wait. You ask her why. Because next turn I'll have those reinforcements. No evil doer. I serve the lady of the lake. Could you join war against them? No. It is done. Lord of Protector. Okay. Alright, so she might attack us over the end turn. That might yeah. happen. We are stronger than her, so it does seem unlikely. It's most likely that she'll either try to swing around here and attack Forest of Ironheim. Who cares? Um, at which point we'll get her next turn. Or she'll sail away. Or she'll just stay exactly there, thinking that she can hold out. Uh, so we'll just have to, we'll just have to see. Yeah, can't do much about it. Is it a good or a bad thing that you can't cheese it? It's it's a good thing. Yeah, I told you. I told you. <laughs> and yeah, this guy. Fucking um The AI doesn't defend their settlements. We we can take all their settlements now. <laughs> oh, they're so fucking stupid. Oh my god, the AI in this game, holy shit. They've, they've just given up both of their settlements. They actually had me in a situation I was worried, and they're like, Ah, I give up, kill me. <laughs> they've, they've just, they're so stupid. They're such cowards. Their only chance was to attack me and use every curse that they had at their disposal. That was their only hope of winning. But now they've thrown it away. Make a guess which race of upcoming DLC will draw the short straw in terms of content, units, mechanics, overall fun. Uh, well, I think that the only race that could possibly draw the short straw would be the dwarfs. <laughs> if I had to guess, I think the dwarfs are going to draw the short straw. If I had to guess. I think Nurgle's going to get the best stuff, and the Empire will get sort of medium. But I think the dwarfs will probably get the, the least interesting stuff. But who knows, maybe I could be wrong. We grant you an audience, so don't waste. No. The situation in Athel Lauren is getting worse with every passing turn. Yeah, all the 
the major factions have played, so that's all that matters. Wow, shit, that's not common. That's really weird, right? Okay, so yeah, this was so stupid. What is she thinking? What is she thinking? She gave up all of her territory. Dude, why are you going into recruit stance? You just, you just, you just lost. <laughs> The sisters of Twilight. Mission of that's fine. Um. All right, this is what I think. We should send the sisters of Twilight to capture Arnheim, and this one to capture the Moon Shard. Don't worry about switching units around. We'll do that later. Then this guy over the end turn will attack that. That'll be easy. And then Mother of Stanky will be hanging around over here, which again will be easy. Both of these should be able to attach to an army. But yeah, Stanky just gave up the war. She just, she just gave it up. Recruit a lord to tank the curse. I'm not going to get cursed because they never curse you if um, they don't have a lord in the situation. See, they, they never curse you. They'll only ever curse you if one of their lords is, is commanding the army, and they'll only ever curse your main Chosen army. So if you've got reinforcement stuff here. The hunt shall be tireless. Glory to the hunter god. The hunt shall be tireless. Yeah, this they just they just done fucked up. All right, we'll do this one first. So yeah, I really don't regret backing off from that siege, because I guarantee you, I would have been there for a very long time trying to win that. And now it's going to be pretty easy. And so next turn I should be able to merge all of these guys into, uh, into the Sisters of Twilight army, and then... I'll need to recruit another army to deal with the situation in Athel Lauren. Damn, that's some good ability right there. They got army losses just to buy our blood. Couple of heals. Cool, cool, cool. Grandma's tired of all this war BS. Yeah. Well, I tell you, she just made the war a lot easier for me, that's for sure. She just... You've only got two settlements left. There's two armies coming at you. They're both in range of both of your cities, and you abandoned both of your cities. 
Because the AI behavior changes as soon as you capture their territory. They just go for the closest thing they can find, which will be the, the cities that they just abandoned. So they've taken their defensive position, given it to me, and then just <laughs> waited. They just kicked the can down the road. They're going to have to fight me one way or another. Very, very silly. That's my talisman of preservation was gained. Finally a fight. Okay, I think you should have the talisman of preservation and I'll give the dreaming ring over to you. Yeah, that's fine. So now this army. There's always a chance that they'll run over this way, so maybe I should recruit a lord there. That way, if they run over this way, this guy might be able to force march and catch up to him. Maybe. There will but there's no blood. coastline anywhere along here. So the closest place that Estankia can land is at Arnheim, End where we'll be waiting right. for them. But you can see here, they'll never curse us because there's no lord there. Um, definitely shouldn't order resolve this because we have a fight next turn to deal with. The air is so cowardly on the campaign, it's super annoying. Yes, it is. Yeah. The AI is only ever smart or aggressive when they smell your weak settlements. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. The Total War Warhammer 3 AI is programmed to sniff out your undefended minor settlements and take them when you're not looking. <laughs> but if they see your army, they run away. The one thing I am greatly hoping for with the next DLC is updated victory conditions for dwarves. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, They should also change their short campaign victory conditions to quick campaign victory. Because <laughs> otherwise, CA's been a grudging because they're calling it short. Alright. I'm not anticipating any issues here. So we're probably not going to be able to cap this, but what we'll do is we'll force them to react. Yeah, in my opinion, this is one of the most annoying settlements to to go up against. Because of all these obstructions in the way. I'm going to cross that shooting just a fair bit. This is all looking good. I don't think that was a particularly good shot there. Alright, we've almost capped this, but holding on to it... Well, we, we might be able to manage as long as we keep their stuff pinned down. Because most of their units and missile units are going to keep trying to shoot at us.
change it to quick campaign victory for everyone but the dwarfs. Oh, that's a grudging, dude, if they did that. This one here is taking too much damage. Almost out of ammo anyway. Just moving back. Okay, she's taking too much damage. Just gotta hold out for a few more seconds. Just keep him pinned down just a little bit longer. I really didn't think I was gonna cap it. There was no way we would have been able to cap this if they had another full stack in here. They just would have overwhelmed this position really quickly. And there we go. Makes sisters take more damage, so they heal procs. That doesn't matter. Why? I've got a heal spell. Why, why would I need to do that? What would you think about a Stellaris Galactic Community-like mechanic for both Order and Chaos? Flesh out the diplomacy a bit on both sides. Can elect to lead? Yeah, that, that could be good, yeah. Um, to be honest, I haven't really played Stellaris in a while. So I'm not entirely sure what you mean. I don't think I've played that mechanic. But yes. Yes, that, that could work. It'd just always be Carl Franz and Archeon though. <laughs> well, it doesn't always have to be. Okay. Impenetrable bark for some more armor. So this one here will give... The, the bonuses there for Hawk Riders is not very good. That's why it wasn't a priority. Extra speed is not bad. But they don't have much armor, so let's, let's go with that. Plenty of skill points to go around. Got plenty more. Good. Definitely want that campaign movement range so we can catch Stanky Butt. All right, now we need to recruit a lord over here. An ancient tree man should be fine. Yep. So that if this guy decides to run over to here instead of attack the moon shard, then this army here can catch up. Now, we need to put the dreaming boots on this army so that he's actually got enough campaign movement range to catch up. Uh, which is a... Uh, which one is it? The Dreaming Cloak? No, it's not it. There it is. Yeah, put that on you. Inseparable. So that we can really make sure that they catch up. Okay, cool. Now, with that... Our, our south is completely secure. Okay, we've also got one of these we could do. So looking at dreaming, we've... That wouldn't be too bad. That wouldn't be too bad either. Not essential right now. I'd say wait and let's just get the refined dreaming boots. That's a good one. But yeah, Stanky just absolutely screwed up there. I can't believe she did that. She really should have tried to hold on to her position. She had a chance. Yeah, not much of a chance, but she still had a chance. Alright, and after this, Hexoidal is next. It's probably going to be a mistake, but let's do it. Alright, so I'm a little bit concerned about the situation at the King's Glade, because this army, if it launches the attack, and, and has these ones here jump in the underway, that could be big problem. Defender of the domain. I weave the living forest. 
Yeah, that could be a big problem. They've actually got an advantage over, over us here. I, share the forest. I just kind of hope that Orion can overcome this. Because he's pretty strong. Because if not, um, we should probably start recruiting some more units at the Witchwood so we can jump them over there at short notice. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna kill my income, but we'll fix it up. Oh, get in there. Get in there. Ah, uh, just grab those. Those are our best units. And yeah, just gotta hope that everything works out for Talson. Arnheim was tier 3 for what else? In Wyoming 2, is it still the case? I don't think so. I'll have a look. Weird. But okay. I feel like the Kislev forces have really good auto resolve. Or maybe it's just that these ones here have really bad auto resolve. Also, we don't have that many ground troops. That doesn't matter, we're going to annihilate them right from the get-go. Because they're going to be coming in through here. They're going to be blobbed up and we just pop down Talon of Kurnos. Yeah, this will be quick. This is what I thought that they were going to do. Okay, so... Actually, there's not even enough of them to blow up. Your orders! Cavalry! We accept! Orders acknowledged! Alright, let's try to snipe the Lord with this. Probably won't work. But let's have a look. Oh yes, smash those Actrina as well. Is that it? God, this shit. Decent blob wasn't there, but yeah, our, our volleys. Are, oh, hang on, we still got some volleys over here to use. It shall be done. This guy's not gonna make it. Ever ready. As you say, poor Apple Lauren. These units are gone, then we just gotta focus over this way. Okay, over this way. Okay, should be easy enough for them. Yes. 
So yeah, so much for Pyrrhic victory. That was, was, was complete bollocks. Yeah, it's probably because of our really damaged units as well. And I think they're just getting order resolve bonuses. Action and ambushes perform really well in order resolve and in many of the resolve as well. <laughs> Stanky came around this way. Spit it out then. I've got. I didn't see what happened down here. The dwarves have already had their turn, so I'm assuming everything worked out. Can't quite see. I can still see the dwarven army is pretty much in the same position. Occupy it! Occupy it! Don't keep sacking it. With regret, I must declare... Uh, whatever. You got your hands full with Nagareth. You don't have time to fight me. <laughs> Torox is so passive. It seems like Torox doesn't want his weedies anymore. It looks like there was a fight here, I weave the living forest. and if I had to guess, it looks like, uh, no, there wasn't, he ran away. He backed off. Okay, that's good. Anything that buys us a bit of time is good. Alright, this will be the end of Stanky Fingers. She's, fight? yeah, she suffered attrition. Um, you don't need to be here anymore. Thank you. You know these are particularly helpful. Okay. Right, he should be okay to stand here. Reinforce. They might even be able to auto resolve this. Depends on how many curses, if they do any curses. Yeah, they still do curses. Pyrrhic? Really? Alright, how bad are these fucking curses? Alright, let's have a look. I'll, I'll look at it when we get into the battle. Jeez. Well, at least she's on Force March. I only have to fight her this once. Why bother going south? Isn't it better to focus on forest settlements? It is normally, but we're trying to see what the the new um, outposts are at major capitals, and Hexavital's the closest one. Mad Hatter, 221, did a, became a member for 11 months. Hope you're having fun, stay cool. Alright, thanks dude, I am having fun. Hope you're having fun too. Yeah, Stanky is really strong in order resolve. Holy crap. All right, let's have a look. So that one is fine. This Fragmenti, that one will have to be removed. Typhlosis is fine. That's fine. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. That one's gotta go. Oh, or, or, or it has to stand completely still. Which means it should probably go. We have to move around. Alright, that's all. So just these two here need to be removed from the battlefield straight away. Alright, 
Hold that position here to begin with. And we'll see how we go. So you can see here they constantly take damage. I just can't I can't justify keeping them on the battlefield. Arahan and Nestra with me, sister. Bringing harmony. Now it's quite possible that Stanky's forces here might overwhelm us a little bit. So I want the option to be able to just pull back. I don't care if this one here gets wrecked, because just regiment of renown, I'll um because we've got another army coming in here, and the the Hawk Riders will be just fine. You should come over here and start casting spells. Guided by the weed. Hunting my foes. Oh, shit, those bats are actually doing a ton of damage. Get back. Oh, yeah, because that one's got Typhlosis. It's really weak. Yeah, the other one's fine. Alright, that's fine. They come. Stop bringing them in. They must fall. Hand of the forest. Yeah, go and kill Stanky Fingers. That'd be good. In there, that's fine. Oh yeah, Stanky Fingers got shitloads of missile resistance, doesn't she? She's very strong. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. You can say that it's not a problem. Almost gone. Might be a good opportunity now to start doing a bit of this. This is just a uh, summon, so that's okay if it gets killed. Stanky's just about gone. And there we go, she got the army lost. Cool. Alright, the damage isn't too bad. Is the aerial bug fixed? Don't know, we haven't done a Ritual of Rebirth yet to get her. Uh, I think they have fixed it, because that was pretty bad.
Looks like the disintegration crash can be mitigated by putting unit details to medium low. Mercy just tested it. Oh, okay, well that's good. So there's some way of getting around it. Occupied Maragliona gives 10% building income. Okay, so that's probably what we're going to see at Hexoidal. Because, yeah, that was in Warhammer 2, and then they took it out for Warhammer 3. Healing? It doesn't matter. Don't need it. The worst of this is over. Coin before cruelty, eh? Okay, and then finish this one off. Close victory. What? <laughs> Action ambushes. Okay, it's fine because that's that's the last fight that they need to do for a while. They'll more than they'll have more than enough time to regenerate. Serene Nestra. Tempestuous Arahan. Okay. So next stop for us is Hexoidal. So what what we should probably do is jump in the underway over here and then jump in the underway over here. And what we want to do is go straight for Mazda Mundi, who I think is sitting over here. I'm not sure. Actually, I actually have no idea where he is. How strong is his faction? Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So you need to go and pick up those troops. Good. Okay. And then pick up these units. to make sure we've always got someone on the ground which should be the glade captain i guess okay so it's not perfect yet but that'll just have to do this army over here how are things over over here yeah i'd rather just recruit it all from scratch all right get rid of all of this shit Doesn't look like we need to jump over just yet. We've also got three points here, so let's go... Dreaming Boots. The craftsmanship is impeccable. And we also need to equip I that stuff onto to. her. Fight only when so she needs Perfected Dreaming Boots. The Dreaming Bow, which she doesn't really need. Yeah, that's all fine. Okay, that's fine. So next turn, we basically jump here and then jump over here. It wouldn't be the worst thing to recruit small armies to go and take some of these minor settlements. But basically what we want to do is exactly what we did to a stanker, except a bit better. Is find his army wherever it is. How many settlements does he have? This is at war down south, so all of his armies should be down there. Maybe I just go straight for Hexawaddle. This and this one here, keep recruiting. Because we've got money for it now. Alright, this one here needs the Dreaming Boat, because we've got some things to construct. And yeah, going with the Growth one will provide, I think, the most benefit for us at the moment. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, so if shit hits the fan, we can jump over here fairly quickly. The... Witch... Oh, the Witchwood's ready to go. Um... 
Right, we just don't have an army that's adequate for dealing with this yet, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I can't do this right now. Um, it's not a priority to sort this out at the moment, because we, we really want to get to here today. And obviously, a lot of time has passed. So I'm just going to try to rush straight to Hexawaddle. Yep, that's a really good one. Okay. All right. You dare. What the fuck? Uh, I would like Durthu to join war against Clan Anger, and I don't think he will. No, he won't. I am a little bit worried about Talson, about the situation over here. Hopefully they're just passive about it and they don't decide to attack. You stand before the Supreme Patriarch. I can fight you, but would rather experiment on no. you. No way for me to get anyone else to go and fight Clan Angrand. I just can't justify going after them right now. Alright, let's move on. Do you need two captains in that army? No, but... I've got captains over here as well, if I need them. So we'll just train it up in the meantime. Captains aren't bad, so... They'll be very useful in capturing settlements. Alright, at least Clan Squire is busy. Also, I haven't suffered a single defeat yet. <laughs> I'm not trying not to have a def uh, no defeat campaign, I just haven't suffered a defeat. With every turn that goes by that the King's Glade doesn't fall, that's a good thing. Who took them out? I think Holy Truven! With every turn they don't do anything, like I said, it's fine by me. World roots carry oh shit, I can actually jump to here. <laughs> there is one tiny little pixel that I can jump to, and that might allow me to attack Skeggy. I thought I was going to have to make two jumps. Now, the problem here is that we're not at full strength. But all the lizards should be heading down south. So it would be better to hit their armies first. But Skeggy is... Well, so, you know, just make our way there. Hmm. What I could do to capture these settlements here is actually use a Lord Spam. Since I don't have that many armies, it might actually be cheaper than recruiting some basic units, because I don't want to send the sisters up this way. Alright, I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump there. Alright, I should be able to attack Skeggy next turn. We're not getting any replenishment. I should be able to get some. 
When in foreign... Oh, right. I need to switch this over to... To her. It's the Dreaming Ring. Yeah, she doesn't need it this turn. That way they'll get... You know, just... It's better than nothing. One extra thingy. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is recruit a Ancient Tree Man. And then over here, also recruit another Ancient Tree Man. Not going to bother recruiting any units. And we're going to retake that settlement there. Because these units here, they stand no chance against trees. Big tree boys. And we're going to take Hexawaddle out pretty quickly. You over here, you keep getting these. Yeah, to keep an eye on that situation there. I said I was going to get a, um, a thing, didn't I? A fleet footed. Um, Discipline is also good, but the Beast Wizard's there. What would you have? Alright, moving on. Why not focus on the ritual? Because it's not the theme of what we're doing here today. I'm trying to get to, I've been trying to get to Hexawad all day. I mean, I could have just walked straight over here and just trespassed everywhere, but I don't like doing that. If I do the ritual now, uh, my armies aren't ready to be able to handle it. So I'll just wait until it recruits a bit. Once again, the dwarves aren't doing anything. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't you see how stupid this is? <laughs> no. Yeah, of course they were going to run away. Idiots! <laughs> that army's dead. They've just given Angrind a free kill. Reducing upkeep costs would be good. Yeah, let's go with Asurian. Okay. Can we make it to Skeggy? Yep. Alright, so looking at it. Yeah. We're, we're outpowered, but we should be okay. I mean, we've got these units here. The lizards will... At this stage of the game, are pretty slow. They're, they have just reached tier four. No, that's tier three. So don't expect too many dinos. They might ride a primeval glory army, though. That could happen. Yeah. There's no sense in bringing them in. End their threat. We need to fight this manually so that we actually get replenishment. If I order resolve it, we're going to take too much damage. And we need to be ready for when the fight does actually happen. Okay, listen, why not go to the old world instead of going against Hexavartal? Well, it would have taken just as long to get there, if not longer. Because we start here, this is the closest settlement to our start position. I would have had to have jumped over to Athel Lauren, which means I had to wait until turn 10. I was already out of, of the Witchwood by turn 10, done with that area, making my way down south. Extra relations for bringing allies in. 
Yeah, they're... It wouldn't be worth it. They wouldn't care that much. It would be like two or three points. It just wouldn't be worth much. This is an easy settlement to cheese. We'll just... Just rush it. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright. All of the... Land troops stay there. And all the flying troops... Alright, they're not all... Vanguard deploy. Most of them are, but not all. Last big settlement going up against a relatively slow opponent. Nagron isn't that closer. Nagron is definitely not closer. No. It'd be tougher to go through there. Way tougher. This is a lot easier. It's about the same physical dis difference, but the enemies that we have to go through will be a lot tougher. Alright. Okay, and now... We just gotta prevent them from arriving. Issues here. Good. It's not taking long. I thought flying and summoned units can't capture points. Yes, that is true, but there are sometimes exceptions. Sometimes there are summoned units that don't decay because they're not tagged as summoned units correctly, and so they can cap points. So what you do is you put the item to summon a particular unit, like the Dreaming Ring, uh, Dreaming Cloak, on a flying unit, fly to the capping point, pop down the unit, Bob's your uncle, start capping. <laughs> there are a handful of factions in the game that can do it, though. Oh no, who's winning in this music? Oh, that's true. Yeah, we won't know who's winning when we're fighting against the lizards. Let us just, just, just uh, take a guess. They shall join the weed. All right, we're almost there. Twin defenders of the glades. 
Now, I reckon two of these guys can manage to beat a garrison. Oh wow, one of them can. This stream crash? Uh, it has crashed before, but it's it. We're not crashing right now. So I'll be taking this back. Thank you very much, Hexawaddle. And we'll chuck down a another tree man lord there. Blight of Terrors. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, we'll go with that one. If we can get one of them with uh, dwells below, we might be able to take on entire armies with this. So it's a bit weird doing this, but this is kind of more effective than recruiting a army spam of, of um, archers. Honestly, the wood elf archers, low tier ones, the glade guard, they kind of suck. So, this Gage gives us some money, so that's good. The Empire. New World Colonies like us. Alright, cool, and, and we can see where Mazda Mundi is. He is in no position to counter-attack us. Uh, he, he might. We'll see. He would need all three of these armies together in order to take out the Sisters of Twilight. They might rush this army back to Hexawaddle, or they might continue what they're doing here. I think that getting a, a few treaties with these guys here wouldn't hurt, because I think that Hexawaddle might just smash them anyway. Agreed. Yeah, just keep an eye on this. So yeah, this army here is definitely dead. That is, that's a goner. That was, that was really bloody stupid of Talson. And with that army gone, that leaves them with less defenses here. So that's a big problem. He, he has really screwed up. I think I'm going to have to jump over here sooner rather than later. But we're not really ready. So that's a problem. Uh, can't do anything about getting it more recruit slots right now either. I could go globally. It's so expensive though. And that's with this one. Oh, hang on. No, he doesn't have it. Well, it definitely saves money. Uh, we got the cash. Let's do it. I think it's a bit of an emergency. I can always cancel it if it doesn't look like shit's going to hit the fan. Which it does just look like it's going to hit the fan. But we will see. Alright, all good. Let's move on. Is Orion wounded? Orion's fine. He's sitting in Talson itself. He's just going to lose one of his smaller armies. He made a very stupid move. Yeah, we're, we're having some stream lag here. So we got a bit of a red alert. Okay, I'm glad that Hexawaddle is focusing on finishing these guys off. Giving me time to rip his territory to shreds. We chose a good time to attack him. He's just distracted. Ooh. Juicy. Yeah, the stream was being quite choppy. We, we had pretty bad internet today. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, whatever. Yep, 
Yeah, it's very choppy at the moment. Sorry, guys. Looks like it's starting to correct itself a bit. No. Alright, can three trees take on 13 units? Do we have any regiments of Renel? We do. Who's got the most magic? This one here does. Let's make him tree singer. Wait, what was his name? Ace Yeah, no, that's gonna help them. Oh, they're desperate if they're gonna be recruiting blessed units. Um. Send another. That was that one looks like a light wizard. All right. Yeah. No, it's high. High magic. That's not really going to be useful against us. Send another one over. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need regiments of renown if I want to overcome this. That's fine. Bring him in. Probably not on Force March Stance. Refresh the fix? No, it's still it's still having um, issues. Alright, cool, we just ordered that. Cool. This is my lazy forces. I wasn't looking for a strong fight there. Uh, we should be fine to raise it. And just recover it straight away. Okay. Itching for fresh battle. Alright, if I go to Ziggurat of Dawn, she'll be able to reinforce at Hexawaddle next turn, which is fine, but she won't be able to launch the attack, and again, that's fine. Uh, she should actually be able to auto-resolve this one. The forest's vengeance! Yeah, we're, we've still got a lot of drop frame, uh, dropped frames coming in. Harmony shall reign. Athelorin makes claim. Yeah, sorry guys, bad internet. It happens. The sisters of twilight. Uh, this one here should be the one sitting inside the settlement since it's got units that need to recover. It's also possible that this army will force march to Hexawaddle. But I'm pretty confident I can overcome it. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Shit. Um Protector of the Oak. Mm. Mm. Alright, well, at least Belagar isn't really going to be able to reinforce. So those two armies, I don't think are too threatening there. So I think we're okay. think we're okay. I will continue the global recruitment of that those units though. Because I'm a little bit worried about the situation there. Cool. Okay, this war against Hexawaddle is so far going pretty damn well, just because they're so bloody distracted. These guys here are doomed. Alright. Oh wow, that went on aggression. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that because I don't want to get distracted with fighting them. Yep. I'm happy to play both sides there. 
The Empire. He's got 11 settlements, he's fine. Protector of the realm. The f Lars Mundi. Mm -hmm. Do we sell spices? We do. Okay, cool. Let's move on. What's the mission to confederate Orion, if there's any? Yes, so in order to confederate Orion, I believe you have to sack or raise 10 settlements. Okay, they did move over to Hexawaddle. That's fine. That is absolutely hey, fine. Bone Lord, else you'll die twice. Ah, uh, no. Bone Lord. That's what my wife calls me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Still got choppy internet, we're dropping frames like crazy. They're lagging for me too? Yeah, uh, uh, my frames are all over the place. Divorce speed run Eddie. No, my wife would find that shit funny, she'd be fine with it. Check OBS. No, no, it's 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 absolutely shitting itself. Yeah, it's absolutely shitting itself. Look at these drop frames. Can't do anything about it. You just have to wait it out. I can't press any button to just be like, hey, can I get better internet? It doesn't work that way. Just gotta wait. Oh shit! Hexavital just sacked it. Man, the AI is really bad at finishing off their enemies. New new PC? Well, I'm getting a new PC soon, but this lag is to do with internet connection. No amount of good PC will ever improve that here. I've got the best internet I can get. I looked into Starlink in order to to get an internet connection with Starlink that... Um, in order to live stream, I would have to pay $400 a month. I, I can't. I can't justify that. So, people who say, just get Starlink, I can't. It's it's four times as expensive. Unless you want, like, 20 gigabytes, which is half a stream. Half a stream a month, <laughs> basically. And no extra videos, so yeah. Starlink is not an option. Oh shit, you can actually make it there. Tempestuous Yeah, we definitely... Because there's a full stack in there. Alright, here we go. The moment of truth. This is where... Uh, this is where we find out about the new outpost. I wasn't expecting them to make it there. But yeah, they do get loads of campaign. Oh my god, our magic. Does that really matter in this battle here? No, it doesn't. Given what they've got, I know exactly what to do. We don't actually need any magic at all. If you were streaming every day, would you hit it? Um, only if I was achieving the numbers that I was getting back in Warhammer 2. Then I'd consider it. But n now, no. It, it would no, no, no. It wouldn't work. Okay. So in order to do this, because they've got loads of flying units and they don't have any fast ground units. They the way to do this order. is to get on the ground, so... Which is quicker, Elven Steed or Unicorn? Unicorn is one speed faster, okay. And that's on a horse, that's on a horse. You get a horse, you get a horse. Okay, you... Hang on. You, do, you, do we have a horse sitting in here somewhere? Findle, I don't think he's on a horse. Go and check. No harm in checking. You 
called? No, he's not on a horse. Well then, be a tree. End their threat. All right, what's the map look like? Is it the same as the other one? Oh, they do have some cold ones. That's okay, we'll just snipe them. Same as the other one. Okay, 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 okay. So, what we could do here is just deny enemy reinforcements <laughs> so that they actually don't get any of these fast units. We'll be able to knock off all of these guys. Oh, no, we don't want to do that, do we? It's only 120 for me in the US. Well, it's it depends on what kind of plan you get. In order to live stream and upload videos, you need to have unlimited data. And that plan costs $400 in Australia a month. So I could get the 20 gigabyte plan, but that would mean I could only upload 20 videos. Not even that, I, I would be able to upload less than 20 videos a month. So there is just no way that would be a better system. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do any live streams with for a hundred dollars a month, right? Internet. See, with the Telstra internet, as much as it's choppy, shitty internet, um, at least it's unlimited data, so I can live stream twenty four seven if I wanted to. Unfortunately, it's just it just gets shit frames sometimes. It's an unfortunate truth of it. Okay, now. Sisters, you're going in as well to give them support. We watch out for those missiles. $400 for unlimited internet using Starlink. Which is why we didn't get it. It's too expensive. And apparently it's not suitable for streaming anyway. Alright, this guy here is actually on a fast mount. We should target him, maybe? He's on a, he's on a slow fast mount. If I get him wounded at least, that will help. Sounds way too expensive. Yeah, it's not it's not feasible. Like I said, if if uh, things were better, I'd consider it, but it would be a, it would be an overall loss of finances for me. It'd be a big loss. It just wouldn't be worth it. Now, these pterodons might get over here in time, but they have no capping power, so we don't have to worry about them. I think we should go and cap other points as well, because most of this army is pretty slow, and if they start bringing in reinforcements, then they're just going to cap our point by default anyway. Actually, let's 
Can just come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, look, they're bringing in reinforcements from here. So it looks like they're going to cap this back this time. Maybe. Either that or just going to run straight through. Capping that back. Very close. Very close. All we gotta do is cap it back one more time. So what we need to do in this situation here is draw their forces back down this way and stop bringing in their reinforcements. So the sisters, get the get them out of here. No, uh, stay stay over here, stay over here. So yeah, hopefully they'll go and try to recap these points. Obviously they can't do it with them. I think we've got a bit of an opportunity. Even if I could just get a couple of seconds of cap time, that'll be worth it. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Okay, now we're just going to hold back whatever reinforcements come out from here. Come on, there we go. Starting a stream is really bad. Yeah, my internet is absolutely shooting itself. I know. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. At least that battle wasn't too long. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All the technical issues are showing up right now. So yeah, we gotta do that battle again, unfortunately. Luckily luckily we cheesed it, so it's it's pretty it's pretty quick. Although, somehow, that seems to have fixed my connection issue, so hopefully we're not going to have any more lag. <laughs> hopefully. At least we're not dropping frames anymore. You have way too many icons on your desktop? No, I don't. I don't have enough. I like it that way. 
Most of his images are used for thumbnails anyway. Alright, we're gonna do it again. Luckily it was easy. You should mod the game, makes it more stable than the original. Yeah, no it doesn't. This is the damn settlement that we've been trying to get to the whole time, and it crashed on this fucking battle. Oh well, shouldn't be a problem to do it again. It was easy. Okay, actually, this time let's put you hiding to begin with, because that way we can get up there a bit quicker. And you stalk by default anyway. Might be harder for us to get through now. But we'll see. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, if you can just squeeze in through there. Cool. Alright, maybe don't fire it well. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, it's not going as well as last time, but it's not a big deal. Bit of damage, no big deal. Wasn't paying enough attention to that. Uh, Zha Zha did a THB 400 super chat. Uh, hi Legend, I wanted to know some jokes about Aussie because I wanted to play jokes with my cousin who lives in Melbourne and he will be back to Thailand for the first time in a decade. Sorry if I upset you with this question. Um, yeah, it doesn't upset me. I just prefer not to tell jokes on stream like that. Uh, people get upset with them. So, th thanks for super chat. But, um... I don't have any good jokes, sorry. Your voice sounds tired. Well, I've been streaming for seven hours. That will that will do it. I've had a big day today as well. Yeah, live streaming for seven hours will make anyone tired. Alright, well, it looks like they're taking even longer to get over here this time, so maybe we'll just cap it on this first go. Or maybe what I can do is just really try hard to hold a position. Delay them. Doesn't Curse of Anna 3 must slow them down? Yeah, it does a little bit, but only 25%, it's not really worth it. Don't wipe out any units, just hold that position. Don't need to hold for long. Don't shoot, don't shoot. We don't want any enemy reinforcements. Oh fuck, I think they came in. Get him off this damn position, and quickly.
Looks like I might have to do exactly what we did last time. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. They're, they're just... They're coming in. We have to lure them away. We really wish it didn't friggin' crash. That would have just been wonderful. We gotta lure them away, or else we're not gonna cap it. Because killing this entire army will take way longer than doing it this way. It. They're pulling their forces away. We just got to give them a bit of time. Right, at least the internet's holding up now, so that's good. through this way and recap it now, I think we've got a good chance of getting that last little bit in. The Chicken Coop did a five pounds of share. Great to catch you streaming again. An old video of yours spurred me on to play Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion. Hit me right in the childhood memories. Many thanks. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Glad you enjoy my old videos. Thanks for the chat. Who wins? Melee Pterodons or Hawks? I don't know, I don't really test that kind of shit. Alright, we've got one unit up this way, we're gonna need to route. I'm actually wondering if controlling large armies was well not controlling large armies was the right call here, because they, as their reinforcements come in, they come in straight at the point where they needed. Yeah, and because there's loads of fast units, I probably should have just controlled large armies. Because look, these reinforcements come in in really annoying locations. I've got to hold them back. It's not going to work. It's not going to work this round, I mean. Got to keep on at it. Back off again. God damn, the first, first attempt was better. I wish it didn't fucking crash. Get rid of these fucking pterodons, they're pissing me off. Careful out here. Uh, shit. So I hunt target acquired. Should be free to go down that way. 
Yeah, still get rid of those Pterodon Riders. Hmm, the AI is actually being a bit smarter than it was last time. They're keeping a few units over there. That's not good. Stop being smart when I, I'm just about on the cusp of finishing this. They never captured that point back. Okay, no, don't... Don't route them off. We've got a good opportunity. They're bringing loads of troops to the front now. This is what we want to see. We might have an opportunity to cap it. Alright, don't worry about capping this. Just go, go, go. Ah, oh, there's a fucking Saurus Warrior there. I only need a few seconds. So if I just get one of them to pin it down, that should work. Preferably the Sisters of Twilight, because they can't cap points anyway. Or, 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 we... Yep, yep, yep. All you gotta do is hold for a few seconds. That's all you gotta do. No, don't do that. Just hold for a few seconds. Come on, just a few seconds. Two seconds, and there we go. Now please don't crash. Cool, so that also destroys a full stack of theirs. Alright, now let's have a look at this outpost. After I blow it up. Because <laughs> I could use one of these guys here, I think, to ruin Dweller. Alright, so this is what you get. Income from all buildings, faction-wide. Yeah, that's what we had in Warhammer 2. That's, uh... So that's in the racial capitals. Okay. Don't get me wrong, that's better than nothing. Extra income t plus 10% will definitely help. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's a huge... I thought they were going to put landmarks in these settlements. That would have been cool. And it's, it's also good to get two build slots for sure. That is good. Especially if there's a resource there. When do we fight? Only when necessary. So these three here will go down to attack Maku Peaks. This area should be undef oh, wow. undefended. And Sister Twilight will go on to Port Reaver. Where this army looks like it'll it'll sit in there. Yeah. And over here. Oh, it looks like Orion managed to survive the the situation, so that's good. 
So it's not urgent to get over there. Which means we could start thinking about doing the Ritual of Rebirth as soon as this is full stack, which is uh, two turns, uh, two or three turns away. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. I miss the days where Legend of the War would spend an hour chasing the hell out of a siege and scrape a win, but it was entertaining. Yeah, well, people don't really want to watch that anymore. Uh, me spending an hour on a siege or a battle anymore. So times have changed. That people aren't entertained by that so much these days. So I, tr I really try to avoid those like mega cheeses that I used to do in Warhammer Two. Because if I do them in Warhammer Three, people just people just switch off. I think Mazda Mundi was forced to disband some troops. Dawn, dusk, stronger together. So yeah, gold is worth a hundred. Remember when it used to be worth five hundred? Those were the good old days. Now, but then again, that's when supply lines were at fifteen percent. So then the other one, extra defenses in there. Oh yeah. Also, the settlement has no fucking defenses at all, no garrison at all. <laughs> there's, there's no one defending it. That's not that big of a deal, but it has no defenses at all. <laughs> we? yes. Well, then why even we bother putting that in there? Just put no defenses. Not just in case. Bring me battle. Yeah, there's no garrison in it. Oh, he's on his luck. Okay. So, because I put these guys in position to get shot in the previous battle, they're not in great shape, but should still be enough to deal with this. As for what we should use our ammunition on, we could use all of it and snipe Mazda Mundi. But I don't think Mazda Mundi is really that big of a threat, because he's got Banishment, for example. He's not going to be able to use it unless we... He's just not going to be able to use it. So I think we should take away his infantry. And then the regular shot from these guys here, use that on Mazda Mundi, because his missile resistance is actually pretty high. Yeah, so in Warhammer 3, well, and Warhammer 2 as well, if you manage to take on a big empire that's basically bloated in terms of their military, and you capture their capital or capture a really rich settlement, you can actually force them to disband some of their troops. Sometimes. Obviously, Tomb Kings will never do that. Alright. Alright, and... Oh, they're on the ground. They should be flying. Uh, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. With me, if I must. It shall be done. Very well. Understood. Yeah, it's not great against Saurus, to be honest. I was expecting more damage. So maybe I will... Oh no, it's playing Lizardman music. The Lizardmen are winning. All the Wood Elves. Whichever. It's because the Lizardmen... They find, yeah, it doesn't do much damage to Saurus. Hang on, just, just chill for a second here. I think we're going to need to snipe Mazda Mundi. That was much better. Child play for the ready. At once. 
Because, yeah, he was healing his units. We can't let that happen. Yeah, I was surprised the Saurus Warriors are uh, pretty resistant to the volley of Kurnos. Okay, Master Mundi's down. Alright, I'll let you guys just fire at whatever you want, that's fine. And yeah, you should really be using this. And I think we need to utilize this one a bit more and um, use Flock of Doom. Because that'll that'll do alright. They don't have that many missile units, so I shouldn't have to worry about it. Okay, let's let's get rid of this one here with that. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Some of that stuff was wasted, but that's not so bad. Shit, that's cool. Oh yeah, we don't want... Okay, I need to snipe this character here with them. Level 70. Is that Cricket? Yeah. Alright, I should probably pop this down on him so that we give him that uh, reduced missile resistance. Bring them over. Don't fire at will. Get one volley in. <laughs> just delayed for really long. They just didn't shoot. Okay, almost got him. That's good. Escort that one off the battlefield, that's fine. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, enemy infantry, and we've seen that our guys are not actually great at dealing with them. Yeah, Source Warriors are pretty damn good. Man, I'm freaking exhausted. But our Hawk Riders can still fight reasonably well in melee if we have to do that. Which we might. Okay, I got an idea. Just leave them in prolonged combat there. And we'll just flock of doom all around them. Because at the very least I can heal them. Yeah, just have them all crash in over there. Okay, missile units need to be aiming for things like monsters, croxigals, or whatever. Sisters of Twilight! Fear the deep 
Go with more units in here, flock of doom will sort them out. I don't think they're going to hold for that long. Right, we also need to get rid of this one. Ah, oh, crap. I'm out of magic. <laughs> Shit. Alright, let's get them out of there. Forgot about that. Fucking stank your regent. these two out of here might be a little bit of trouble. Might be easier just to get them off the battlefield. But they got a good number of kills. They've still got some ammo though. I'd like to keep them on the battlefield. Just, if nothing else, just to preserve their balance of power so I can inflict the army losses a little bit easier. Alright, you get out of here. Alright, they get out. They're good. They're good. Alright, well, all I've got left is my regular ammo with this one. And for the heroes? No, no, they're all good. Uh, they've got Talon of Kurnos as well. Let's, let's use it. Little guy should it whatever, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Okay, what might be a good idea now is pop this down and do a bit of skirmishing with the Way Watchers. And this one as well. Since all their fast units should be gone now. Alright, all of our ammunition's used up, but we can still send these guys into melee against weakened targets. So, for example, all these Saurus Spears here, if we land on them all at the same time, we should be able to kill them really quickly. Uh, not with all these other units around here. Go, go for this one over this way instead. Imperial Fist Yellow did a 5 euro super chat. Enjoying the streams after work, playing Warhammer 3 on the side. Hope you keep doing after the week streaming occasionally. Greetings from Germany. Alright, thanks for super chat, appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely stream every now and again for sure, but... You know, the frequency that I've been doing is not sustainable. I'm getting pretty worn out. Just looking for a good opportunity to land. Oh wait, they still have... A... No, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Ooh, that 
that was that was not as that's not as good as I was hoping. I was hoping they'd do better in melee. There. I mean, those were Sora spears, but I was hoping they would do better with that. I was hoping they'd do better. I think we're still okay. But it's uh, turning out to be maybe a little bit more iffy than I had originally thought. Come on. Up you get. There's not that much of them remaining though, so... I can't need to pin these down or else they're going to shoot all my... Uh, kill my archers. Right, you should be able to take on that one though. Okay, they got rid of that Bastilladon finally. We are tireless. Hunting. I will go. All right, good. That's shattered. All right, regular Soros warriors should be a bit easier because at least they don't have the anti-large. Still got more of these Moving abilities. Of away. I don't think the army losses is too far away at this point. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. God, that did a lot of damage. Get out of it. Yeah, looks like they got it. Whole bunch of temple guard over here. Now they are anti-large, but it's really isolated. It's also got a lot of experience. So I don't know if this is a good idea. Probably not. But isolated units are the best ones to go after. Cool, broke it. Is that the army losses? No. Good, they took that one out quite easily. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Stragglers over here, those would be good to hit. And every hit point that we can do to heal. Will make a big difference. There's a source warrior over here that looks right for the Taken. Just gotta get up in the air first. Everyone up? Looks like it. Alright, go for that one. But yeah, this battle here was a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. Victories in our grasp. Okay, the army losses should be soon. I think we'll probably get a period victory because we used up all of our ammo. Those two over there look pretty vulnerable. Let's go for them. Shit. Captain Reapers is really stuck. I don't think they'll die, because as soon as they rout, they'll give up trying to fight it. Arise. 
course, if we can get them out, that would be preferable. They're almost out. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and there's the underbosses, cool stuff. Still a better result than auto resolve. Oh, decisive victory. Okay, cool. Because yeah, auto resolve is going to wipe out some of our units there. All right, we're going to call it a day there, guys. I'm absolutely knackered. Um, so yeah, the outpost update was not a big deal, in my opinion. It's it's good that they've been reintroduced something that they had back in Warhammer 2, but I was under the impression it was something a little bit more interesting than that. So what it is is that at racial capitals, like uh, Meragliano, Skaven Blight, Altdorf, Koron, Hexawadl, Nagarond, Lothan, uh, you capture these settlements, which are... Not not tree settlements. You get a bonus to your income plus ten percent faction wide. I'll just showcase that one more time. The world roots grow once more. Over here. So income from all buildings plus ten percent faction wide. It's good. It's better that they have it rather than they don't have it. But I don't think it's a big deal. Um, overall, I definitely enjoyed this campaign. And while I was definitely expecting to suffer some defeats, I didn't. Alright, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and we'll call it a day there. I need to get some sleep because I am absolutely bushed. Alright, let's have a look at who's streaming. Alright, let's chuck the host over to PZA Total War today. I don't think I've hosted him before. I'm not sure. And he's currently playing Ikat Claw. So PZA is really good player. So I'm sure you won't be disappointed with what he's got to show you. Uh, I'm not sure when the li next live stream will be. It might be tomorrow. It just depends on how much I recover, I suppose, from this live stream. Because I, I did go on for a fair bit today. And usually longer live streams means I don't recover very well. But anyway. Um... There's a good chance that I'll be live streaming tomorrow, but I'm, again, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time. Later.